hands with me. There you go, jazz hands. We're live. We're live. Welcome back to the Who Move My Freedom podcast, live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. That's where we're at right now. Me and Walter Keller. There he goes. He's still doing jazz hands. And he's got his uh, little shorty PPSH. 41. 41. There you go. So here we are joining you guys on this Friday. Live. <laughs> live. Quite a few things to talk about. So I want to thank everyone that's here in the chat. We got lots of people in the chat. I'm going to go through. I want to thank Walter Keller, of course, for joining us. We will be showing guns. Yep. I've got a couple. Yeah, Walter's got a couple things. I've got a few things here that I could show as well. So we are going to talk about that. First, let me um, ask everyone to click the thumbs up button. Oh, yeah. Okay? Make sure you've clicked the thumbs up button. And yeah. then also share this video with friends and family. Oh, yeah, Help us to uh, generate an audience here. Get this whole thing going. If you're not subscribed to the Hank Strange situation, please do that now. I appreciate it. Okay. And the subject, I think this is like episode 81. I think so. Yeah, episode 81, man. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I'm calling it uh, the Second Amendment. We don't compromise around here. So just so that you guys are clear on where we're at, right? I mean, we don't compromise around here, right, Walter? Are you with me on this? Let's just make it clear. I'm with you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay, so there you go. Also, look, check out this shirt. I love that shirt, actually. You like this? Okay, there we go. This is my. Uh, this is from Forge from Freedom. This is in the Hank Strange collection. I didn't like design this. I think this was already in there, but I like it. It says "Assault with a Deadly Weapon." So there you go. <laughs> yeah. You can check that out and other shirts. I've got. Um, there's a few things in there that we did design. The uh, Who Moved My Freedom podcast shirt is in there. Also, there's a Hank Strange logo shirt. I've got a bunch of different things that we're working on. We're going to have all kinds of different uh, cool shirts up there. I can't really share them with you guys until we get it going, but there will be more stuff there. So that's Forged from Freedom. There is a link in the description of this video for you guys who want to check that out. Let me go through here. And um, I was actually the first one in the chat today, but that doesn't really, that doesn't count, I guess. Because <laughs> Tango Hunter said, nope, I'm the first one. So there you go. Shout out to Tango Hunter. Nick Graham uh, also joined us. Let's see who else is in here. Joe Carpenter. What's up, Joe? Home of the Brave. Okay. The Archangel. Special shout out to uh, to the Archangel Lawrence. Um, I think uh, his wife had some medical troubles today. I hope she's doing better. Our prayers definitely uh, go out to him and his wife and the rest of the family. Uh, you know, and he's still able to join us. Uh, you know. Thank you, man. We appreciate your support and everything. I know this is probably like a rough time for you. So our prayers are with you, my friend, my brother. Thank you so much for joining us. Chris Bolas is also in here. S14 Duma is also in here. <laughs> he, um, he says, these last past few days, I've seen the word cuck so, so many times. <laughs> Okay, I understand where you're coming from. Um, I, some people might not even know what that means. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Of course, the Tyvin Show is up in here. What's up, Tyvin? Screaming Skull Saloon is in here. Man. Kills them all. A will is in here. <laughs> Rod Mills is also in the house. What's up, Rod? Rod. Yeah, Peter Machuco. What's going on, Peter Machuco? Also in here. <laughs> And I'm trying to go through here. Let me see who I'm missing. Let me see if I'm missing anyone. If I'm missing you guys, if there's someone who I have not shouted out on this thing yet, um, what you guys need to do is just do a uh, roll call, and I will see that, and I will try to shout you out. DC2 Mega Boost, also in here. Uh, Ken Helmers, MW Tactical, Vanessa Kitty, Sugar Bear, Greg Carithers. Tizzy 0728, all those dudes. What's up to you guys? Thanks a lot for joining us and hanging out with us. Um, you know, we appreciate it. Like I said, make sure you click the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video to your friends and family so we can get the audience going here. Also, I know there's a lot of things that you guys want to talk about, talk to me about because I've been getting messages all through the day. Yeah. Um, James Arsenault says he's stuck in traffic. Uh, Tony London is also in the house. He says uh, Gainesville in the house. Gainesville. Yeah, what's up, Tony? 
I, I know you're you look like you're itching to show that gun. Just hold hold well, on. I, you said you were getting so, messages all day. I was uh, finishing this off all day, so so it was yeah. so that's running now, right? I think you sent oh, me a video. I gave you that. You can share that link to my YouTube channel there. It uh, oh, it runs. Um, okay. I also I'm posted. Uh, I always posted it in, in the notice about tonight's show on um, mm -hmm. Instagram. The little video clip of me shooting in the bull trap. Yeah, it's a handful. So it'll okay. Be and you've got that on the uh, safety harbor. Safety harbor firearms. Yes, sir. Safety harbor firearms. Okay, let me actually go over there and pull that up. My lower third, man. You 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 haven't been busting my chops or not? Oh, you didn't do your lower third. No. Shame on you, Walter. I know, man. Shame on you. Shame on. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. I've sinned. <laughs> no forgiveness for you. <laughs> okay. No forgiveness. You need to lots, of, sure. lots of lashes. There we go. So um, how long have you been working on that? Um, I started in, uh, I worked on it um, in the afternoon yesterday and then part of the day on and off, just finishing it, getting things finished up. I had to weld on, um, I had to weld on a sling swivel piece on the front here. And then I did same same thing. I made a, I made an impromptu uh, swivel in the back here out of some out of some rod and insert it into the into the back side of the stock and okay. um, and uh, yeah got it all parkerized and test fired again this afternoon and she is rocking and rolling baby it's gonna okay. be a lot of fun to shoot outside <laughs> so you get my get me give me get so me. where are you you taking that to your dad's house to test it out yes yeah, sir okay cool I think we're gonna do that Sunday is Sunday available or are you uh Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I have no out? clue what kind of plans you guys are making. Who are you making these plans without me? Uh, well, I'm going to be at my dad's Sunday, so. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring up the 50 cals, the short one. We're going to do a bunch of chrono chronograph stuff because mm -hmm. uh, I got to get the numbers on all of them again. And uh, I got this guy. I got the CZ Bryn 805, which I'll whip out here in a second. Um, I got some uh, Palmetto State things to make go bang for the first time. Okay. And, uh, oh, the Rattler, Sig Rattler. Okay, so you got lots of guns that you're, you're ready to yeah. shoot. Yeah, lots yeah. of shooting going to be going on. Lots of uh, ammo getting thrown down. The ammo dump time. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So cool. So cool. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, like I was saying, I was getting a bunch of uh, messages from uh, – from folks about, I guess this roundtable thing has legs and it's still going to keep walking. I didn't. Did you watch the actual roundtable later, or did? Yeah, you? I did. I watched the whole thing. So I know that uh, Yankee Marshall is apparently very pissed off, and right. now he wants to copulate with everyone. Apparently, <laughs> he's using you, bad words. If you look at his video, yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing that I think. Um, and of course, you guys can let me know. Like, let me know if you actually watched the roundtable thing. Because if you didn't and you're just taking whatever Yankee Marshall is saying for facts, then that's probably the beginning of your problems right there. I'm not trying to challenge Yankee Marshall in any way, but everyone has their own perspective on everything. Right, right. So make sure before you get all crazy and you start um, abandoning gun guys who've been out there working for you for a long time and doing a lot of stuff for you that you actually look at what they had to say before you just take whatever Yankee yeah. Marshall has to say about it. Yeah, everybody's got a different, I guess we'll say way of looking at things or maybe it affects them differently or. Yeah. But yeah. I think also you should, you know, I mean, I don't know how closely Yankee Marshall paid attention to it. I don't know what, you know, every, like we all have our own perspective, right? right. We're all seeing things through our own lens and, our lens is not exactly the same as other people, and you know some people don't have a, a an exactly um, clear lens, <laughs> if I could put it that way, on things. I know that I watched that video, and obviously there are things in that video that I did not agree with. That's why I'm tell I'm I'm titling this video. Um, uh oh, we got Babyface oh, just. Who's that? Babyface man. What's up, Babyface? I I need to see a video of that thing in action. Do you have one up yet? YouTube. Oh, oh you're, you're jumping on here because of the gun, huh? That's, I just saw it. I was I was looking at it live, and I was like, mm, I got to see that. Oh. See this. So, hey, uh, there you go. also, I think I'm going to come out to my dad's. I'm going to bring the barbecue grill and cook some hamburgers, too. So oh, there, won't, there won't be no starvation at lunchtime. Yeah, make sure you bring lots of ice and drinks. Well, duh. Uh, Hank, are we, did you guys want to go out there? 
Uh, yes, yes, we will do that. Okay, but right. you know, we'll I mean, talk about that later. yeah, right now okay. we're talking about the whole roundtable thing. Do you so yeah, what is? Do you have anything to say on that? Well, so I, so neither one of you watched a roundtable, and and I know that there's lots of people that have been getting in touch with me, and probably folks in here that want to talk about this whole thing that went down. I watched it from my perspective. Like I said, there's stuff on there that I didn't agree with. Uh, what um, roundtable? There was a uh, so the Gun Collective had a roundtable hangout video that he did, and I think the whole the whole bottom screen was filled up with people. So. Jesus. Um, from my recollection, it was like uh, Military Arms Channel, Mr. Guns and Gear, the Iraq veteran guys, Chad and Eric. Oh, so um, it was big names. It was a little names. Yeah. So a lot of dudes in there. There was also some manufacturers in there. And um, and included in that was um, the president of RAN CLP, who we've had here on the show. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what episode that is. I could probably ask Lola. Lola, can you see what episode um, Chris from Rand CLP was on? So, you know, he was here on our show, and we talked to him. And if you guys want to go see a conversation that we had with him for two hours and evaluate whether or not you think he's a gun guy or he believes in the Second Amendment, you are welcome to do that. The thing is, is that it with with all those people on one show, as you know, like you're you're on this with us all the time, right? And uh, I run my mouth. So just me and Walter being on here, you might, yeah. So it, it's tough for all three of us to talk at the same time. So I think if you have like ten guys, not everyone's going to get I to talk. I couldn't imagine. And, <laughs> and it, it, as much as I like to comment, sometimes I don't always say what's on my mind all the time because it, sometimes it, it just yeah. You know, Ola it, said it, it's episode thirty-five for anyone who wants to go back and look at it. Where um did. It's the Gun Collective. Do they have it hosted somewhere where you can watch it? Uh, yeah, it's on the Gun Collective's YouTube channel. Um, and, and I just think that any before people get mad, because there's oh, some people it. that are really mad, and I know Yankee Marshall has everyone up in arms and mad about the whole thing. Um, and I think he's really upset with Chad and, and probably Chad and Eric over at Rock Veteran. I looked at that thing, and, you know, I don't – I understand what it is specifically that wow. he's not happy with Chad about. He's, he's like, he's got a whole fuck everybody video that he put up. <laughs> yes, that's what we're talking about. Oh, <laughs> fucking Lord. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tony London wants to know if Walter's in Florida. Yes, he's in Florida. Show. No, nah, we're driving to Alaska yeah. tomorrow. So hang out. <laughs> yeah. So one, one, of the things that, um, one of the things that people don't realize about Yankee Marshall is he understands psychology. And he knows how to troll you guys and how to. Oh, know. he's he's a major troll. That's the thing, and yeah. he enjoys it. He enjoys pissing people off, like he really does. Yeah. So that's the thing that everyone has to to um, come up with here. But if you look at the first of all, let's talk about Chad and Eric because I, I know those guys a little bit. You know, I um, I've always I've met Eric once when he was still working at Moss Pond. This mm -hmm. is years ago, and I liked him. He and I stood at the gun counter for like. God, I don't 30 minutes, 45 minutes, just shooting the shit. He was really cool. Yeah, both of them are good guys from what yeah. I know and from what I know of them. Um, you know, and they really believe in the Second Amendment. They really believe in this shit. They're doing, you know, they're working really hard and putting a lot of things out there for people. And I think that it's, you know, there's certain aspects of things that you can argue about and maybe you can take shots at them because they're right now sitting on the throne. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, you know, there's lots of different YouTube channels, and they're not necessarily the biggest. I don't think they're as big as FPS Russia, but those guys are probably approaching 3 million subscribers right now. So people who actually make gun videos and bring you information and put their lives at risk to actually show you things about guns, that would be what Iraq Veteran is, okay? Well, you, you guys have probably all watched Eric burn down guns and things like that. Oh, yeah. He, He's risking his life and he's spending money that he doesn't have to. Dangerous and, shit to blow up a gun in your face. Right. And then you guys are going to get mad because of something that you see in a conversation where they can't fully express exactly what they're trying to bring across to you. And because like Yankee Marshall says that, and I don't know how many times you've seen Yankee Marshall shoot anything. So just I, I just think that people should think about that a little bit before they start like attacking people who have really – gone out of their way to do so things the, for the, the thing that I've community. noticed with Eric and I, again I think Eric is a great from what I've when I've met him he's a great guy um, he's just not the most eloquently spoken person um, and that's just the way it is 
Um, I think some people get that impression, but he's incredibly intelligent. Oh, I'm not saying he's dumb. Yeah. I, I'm just saying that, yeah. and I well, do the same thing where I words. Well, will so here's what, here's what happened from my perspective, and I'm telling you guys, I'm really encouraging you to actually look at the Gun Collective video. I'm gonna enjoy, yeah. and draw your own conclusion. But here's what happened from from the way that I saw it. Right, they there was a um, there was a what if scenario, and Chad was saying, well, you know, if these people wanted to come in and 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 do something and they said that they were willing to give us like reciprocity like if there was like, this was like a private thing and we think that they would give us reciprocity and all they wanted in return was just to ban these slide fire stocks that he would be in agreement of that and eric was doing exactly what walter's doing in the background and eric <laughs> was like nope hell no and, and they were sitting right next to each other yeah. so eric said nope no i wouldn't Hell no, I'm not going to do that. And Eric kept saying that. And uh, and then to end it, Chad said, but the thing is, is that they're not going to do that. They don't want to just ban this one little thing. They want to ban other things. So I think that the problem there, and I understand where people are coming from, is that we we – we, we there is no compromise position here. There is no room. There's no space. <laughs> For any kind of compromise, as far as I'm concerned, probably as far as far as everyone else here is concerned, there's no room for that, and I'm just not willing to, you know, I'm not budging from that. So, okay, you know, a lot of uh, I'm not going to say a lot of these people are not very old. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen some of this monkey business before. <laughs> people from the our own it's industry. the same it's the same people pulling the same shit yeah pulled the shit 30 years ago yeah they don't compromise they're not going to give you anything you're not going to trade they don't want to trade anything they want to take and i don't want no fucking reciprocity if i got to give up anything <laughs> reciprocity is a pipe dream sorry it's not going to happen i I, I agree with you. I, it, Ruger, so Ruger almost went under because I think I think reciprocity yeah. is not going to happen. I think um, suppressors it's coming not, off the NFA isn't going to happen. It's not, matter, it's not, not going to get done in Washington. The states aren't. Some of these states aren't going to go for it. Period. California and New York won't. Period. They're not going to go for it. So stop this dream of trading this pit for that. You're not going to get nothing. All, All they right. want is this. You know, they want this, and they want your pocket knife. They want a PPSH forty three. That's a shorty, baby. That's what everybody wants is a PSA. Yeah. Uh, full off. So, oh, everybody should yeah. have a couple of these. Okay, okay, <laughs> boys. Let's focus on this. You know, I, I think I agree with you. Obviously, the, these, the politicians on the other side, they, they don't want to negotiate with us. They want total surrender. And I'll be honest with you, politicians on, on the Republican side also want to, to give up. Uh, they also want gun control. Hold, you got you to gotta hold the Republicans by their balls and twist. That's what you got to do. You can't play nice with them. You can't. You can't sweet talk them. You got to. You say, look, buddy. You don't get on our side. You're getting no fucking money to get reelected. And just okay. like that, get so, on the boat or get the fuck off. You know. Right. And the Repub and the Democrats aren't in charge. Well, who are they? To who are you to? Well, that's that's but that's what's evident of what I'm trying to say to you that Republicans are the ones who are holding this things not, up this right is now. Not some business deal where you're going to trade your your five hours of internet time for 10 hours of uh, some prostitute or something, you know, you're not gonna, nobody's gonna, there's nothing to gain by dealing with these people. So, you know, it, uh, it, so, okay, so Chad, Chad was saying deal with them. Eric was saying don't deal with them. What no, was- no, no, Chad was not saying deal with them. He had a hypo, see, these guys are having a hypothetical conversation. And the thing that I'm saying to you, I think one of the problems here is we can, like, if we have, like, maybe they forgot that they were live. Maybe they were forgot that they were going on the record. Okay. But they, but they should be aware of the fact that they're projecting these statements out there to the world. And a snippet of that can, can, can be taken out of context very easily. So, and, and they were having a hypothetical conversation. And he was trying to say that if privately these people would come and say, well, all we want is to, t is to take this slide fire stock off the table. And mm -hmm. what we'll give you guys is reciprocity that he might entertain that thought. However, he said, if you listen to the whole thing till the end, he said, however, he knows that that's not what they want. That's what okay, I'm trying so, to say to you. So what did, where does Yankee Marshall come in? What was his, why is he so irate? <laughs> because, because, you know, um, being irate 
and saying <laughs> and saying fuck this person and fuck yeah. that person. That's how you get a whole bunch of views. That's his, that's, that's his shtick. I understand yeah. that, and, but does and, he and, have any point mixed in there? I think he has half of a point mixed in there. Absolutely, <laughs> right? Because because we're all on the side of no, we're not going to compromise. Well, when you get on when you get on when you get on a, a public forum and you say, well, you know. Well, that's just opening the door to people saying just like just like happened to somebody else we know, um, <clears throat> forty five. Um, and right. next thing you know, next thing you know, you're on network TV saying the gun guys they want they want they're they're willing to compromise. You know. Yes, exactly. That's what I think we have to be careful of, and that's where Yankee Marshall does have a point that we have to be careful what we get out there and say. And the truth of the matter is, is that there, like there, there's no law, there's no bill, there's nothing that we could do to stop human beings from murdering other human beings. Yeah, and that's all, you know, that's that's never yeah. going to change. But, yeah. You know. So, um, Jay Derek, Jay, hold, hold on one second. Yeah. So, Jay Derek Williams just gave us five bucks. He yeah. says, they say they banned Yankee for using profanity in <laughs> chat. Really? I have seen his videos and live chats uh, laugh out loud. So, I know that they didn't. Um, I think one of the other things he was saying is they didn't take any questions from, like, the audience. Yankee was in the audience. He was asking stuff. He's mad because he didn't get a seat at the table. Um, I mean, I mean, you know, that's, look, that's a, that's a one thing that happens a lot, right? Like, people maybe, like, maybe well, how come this person wasn't there? This person, because maybe you're just not cool with these particular people that did this thing. I get it. That's, you know that, what I mean? that's, their, that's their party. You're not invited. Sorry. Yeah, get over it. You have to get over that. But he, but I guess he had a bunch of people who were over there and they were asking questions. And the way that they approached it with dealing with these guys maybe was rough, and maybe you know these guys didn't like that, and so they didn't take any of those questions. Maybe, well, maybe. one of the things is like, why are we treating each other as the enemy when we're not? Well, because of egos. Yeah, so we have to be careful with that. If these guys are doing their thing and they're having their conversation, that's fine. You know, and we want to ask questions. If you go in there, you have to try to like go in there respectfully. I didn't see the chat. I don't know what people were saying or what they were asking. But even if you were being respectful and they didn't want to bring up your comments and all that, I don't, you know, I mean, what can you that's do? Well. Yeah, you don't have to listen to them. They're just people who are doing this thing. If you want to get your voice heard, you can there's other ways you can go out there and get your voice heard. You know, um, yeah. I, I think, um, in in my opinion, I think that um, there, yes, there's truth to this. That we have to be careful what we say out there because very easily the things that we say could be turned back around on us and used to speak for us. And if something gets out there in the news media, like Walter is saying, and someone just takes a soundbite, and that soundbite goes up. I don't care, you know, there's no one in the gun community whose channel is big enough to reverse a soundbite that goes up on CNN. And then, 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 you then know. you got these, uh, you know, you got the, uh, the ones at home going, well, that gun guy thinks it's okay. Well, then it just must be all right then. You know, he must, you know, he's going to be okay. Yeah. 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 Let's hug a tree, kiss a squirrel. Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah. the thing is, is you cannot negotiate publicly with anyone. Well, you any know, negotiations you make publicly, anything that you say you're willing to give up publicly, just that's that's a given now. So when you actually go into a ne negotiating room, you have no, you have you're no, screwed. Just those things. That's not where they're starting. They're like, oh, we know this is what you're already ready to get uh, willing to give up, and here's what we want on top of that. Yeah, that's yeah. how negotiations go. So all this stuff where people think they're somehow super smart and they can outthink and play 3D level chess and do all this kind of stuff, that's kind of silly. And that's where I do agree with Yankee Marshall. The problem is, is that these guys were talking about that. You know, they were talking about the NRA and they said that the NRA messed up and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. Um, you know, and that we have to do something about it. That's not so, hard to figure out that the NRA messed up. Um, yeah. But there are people, there are people, and I met some over the, I met one in particular over the weekend, and I mentioned to you, Hank, before, who thought that that was a wonderful thing that the NRA did, and yada, 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 you know how that conversation goes. Mm -hmm. you know, if, if you apologize and play nice, that you're, you, you know, everything will go away, you know, it's like, no. Yeah. So, um, Bius uh, Fallis, I think, says, um, T-Y-M was uh, I, the Yankee Marshall was blocked when he was asking legitimate questions. Come on, he's not that bad. Only swore twice. He's not 
upset for being in the chat. Uh, I mean, I don't care if anyone swears, by the way. We we curse openly. <laughs> I, I understand. Last night we talked about uh, the dueling dicks of Spike Tactical. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I don't know. I, I don't listen. In case you guys don't know this, so let's talk about something that's real. Um, in case you guys don't know this, now you're fine. The, what's breaking a lot of people's hearts right now, and this is probably, a, you know, a different conversation, but what's breaking everyone's hearts right now is that you are starting to find out that all the people in the gun community don't get along. Welcome to the fucking Terror Dome. <laughs> what, what, what community out there, let me ask you, what community out there where every, is it that everybody gets along? For real. Oh, exactly, yeah. This is a human being problem. We all get along with other, but it went, but, but when it comes time to to make a public thing, they all they all pony up next to each other and play good. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. This is what happens with people. And a, another thing that happens, and I think it's a point Yankee Marshall was making. I did watch his video, um, his "fuck everybody" video. So I did watch that. Um, there were parts of it that made me laugh. I did too, actually. So. Yeah. So, um, you know, and there are parts of it that I agree with. And I think one of the things that he's saying is that, like, look, we do all want unity, right? We got to kind of figure out how to have one message because ultimately what we want is not to lose any more of our Second Amendment rights. And we want the ones that we lost back. Right. So that's what we ultimately want. The problem, though, with unity is who the fuck is in charge of this unity? Right. Well. Right. So that's that's the problem here. Like when you have like when you say unity, which means like, OK, everyone has to get in line and march behind this message or this person. The problem that met the, the problem that you get with that is you get all kinds of rankings. Right. And then you have to figure out, like, who's on top, who's the boss of this, who's the leader and what are they saying? And then we all get behind them and then everyone marches in step with that. And I think that that's a problem because that's awesome for whoever's on top and whoever's calling the marching orders. But if I'm on the bottom and I have a different voice and I want to say what I have to say, if we're playing the unity game, I'm effectively silenced, right? That's why there's the GOA, there's the NRA, there's the Jewish guys for guns, there's the black guys for guns, there's the, there's well, always- I'm gonna join. There's always different. You're gonna join that? No, they probably they're not gonna allow you in. Hey, the black guys you, for guns. You got to You got to Oh really? <laughs> you have to have the ability to tan first. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you might have like two percent African blood somewhere. Yeah, doesn't everybody? I thought like yeah, that should, yeah, yeah, that should qualify you. <laughs> That's grasping. Sorry, that's just grasping. <laughs> Listen, I actually have a friend who was in, who tried. He um he grew up in Detroit. Okay. And he's a white guy. Grew up in Detroit, and he tried to join the Black Panther Party. Oh God! And they wouldn't let him join, so he went out and formed the White Panther Party. Him and his friend. <laughs> <laughs> you can look this shit up. I'm not making it up. The White Panther Party actually exists. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, um, but that's you know, cool. I think that I think that that's one thing that I would agree on Yankee Marshall with, because what happens is if we're all supposed to get into lockstep with each other. You're always running this danger that the people who are in charge get to control the message and everything. And then who knows like what deals they're making in the back room and all of that, right? Yeah, yeah. So that gets dangerous. Yes and no, yes. Okay, so no, why? No, I'm just saying you got it. I mean, well, okay, then that's the case. Nothing. Everything's going to status quo then. No, I don't think it should be status quo. What we should at least be, there needs to be what there needs to be is at least between the groups is a mission statement, okay, or something like that where they all agree that they're all for this and they're all for that. They don't all have to hold hands and sing kumbaya because they'll never do it unless you know somebody's kumbaya and somebody. Oh, look at that! So yeah. somebody in chat's asking, so I'm putting it up. What are you oh. drinking? You're drinking the Blue Moon. Is that even alcohol? It's Blue Moon Pacific Apricot Wheat. It is delicious. <laughs> that's like that's okay. like prune juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, you never you never know. Yeah, yeah. this is anyway. what Babyface was sipping last night when he was watching the show. <laughs> trolling, <laughs> trolling what, Patrick. Yeah, that's why he was trolling <laughs> Patrick R. Like, R well, see, oh, man, it's just he's just so easy to troll. He's so he, offensive. Also, you were trolling him too, Walter. So don't even. Start oh, it was good. 
A little bit, a little bit. I, yeah, exactly. I, I'm glad you're admitting it now. I, I, I tied my tongue a little bit. You know? Oh, man. Whatever. I noticed you guys don't really hang out in that chat that much until Patrick R. comes on. <laughs> and then <laughs> your asses are in the chat trolling him. And I'm like, and I invite you to come, actually come on the show. But you both enjoy just being in the chat because you know he's reading the chat. It's so annoying. I, can see, I, I put something in and I wait for his face to look over. I can see when he reads my comments. It, I'm just like, oh, yes. Yeah, you guys are like little babies. Every <laughs> single time he comes on, it's like so ridiculous. You just have to come on the show and say your shit where everyone can hear and see that you are egging him on because people have no idea what you're all saying. It, as soon as that whole steak thing came up, steak in the nut and stuff, that just went, that was just too yeah. funny. Yeah. It, went, it went way over. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, anyway, so the thing is, like, what do we have to agree on? I think we have to agree on whether or not we support the Second Amendment. Of course we all do. Right. And right. so if we support the Second Amendment, um, to me, that's the most important thing. And then maybe there might be argument on whether or not you believe in compromising. I, I'm no compromise zone. Yeah. You know, so I'm no compromise zone. And I think most most of these guys are no compromise zone. I think there was someone on the round table that says, oh, we got to at least talk to people. But ultimately, like if someone's family, the people who are dead are dead. And that's horribly unfortunate. But what are you going to say to their family members that's going to make them feel better? What can you do that can make them feel better? I didn't shoot them. You didn't shoot them. Chad, the rest of them, they didn't shoot them. So what are you supposed to say? You, you can't tell them anything. It's not if, your fault. If I, if I take away someone from you that you care about, I can't tell you anything to make you feel better. It's not going to fix it. Right, yeah. yeah. There's this whole forgiveness. I, I can't do anything. You know yeah. what? You kill somebody I know, I, I'm not going to forgive you. Fuck that. You're, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yes. So, <laughs> I, I, and that's the problem right there, you know. And for something that someone did who's broken and who committed a horrible, evil crime, like the rest of us have to suffer. That's bullshit. I don't believe in it. My problem. And, it's not my fault. Yeah. And so anytime someone asks me, I'm like, there isn't shit I could do. I, all I could do is tell you, hey, I'm sorry that happened. That slide you know fire. I mean? That slide fire didn't get up and do it by itself. Sorry. Yeah. yeah so every, everyone's got one of these behind it. You know what I mean, it's like, no. Nah. Yeah. Um. You know. Why? Why would you negotiate with people that aren't in charge? You know why? Why? Why do you have to negotiate with the lesser party? What? What's the negotiate? There is no negotiation. Yeah, but what I want everyone to remember is that Yankee Marshall is a very intelligent guy, and he knows that you can't just keep singing to the choir because that gets boring. Just like you two knuckleheads know <laughs> that you go into the chat, you start trouble with with Patrick R. Right? You enjoy <laughs> that. That's the same thing that Yankee Marshall is doing to everyone else. <laughs> That's what he's doing. So if you want to fall into that trap, people, fall into that trap if you want to. I get it. Yankee Marshall, it's entertainment. It may, you're okay? right. And, and it makes for good numbers on his yes. part. And he knows how to and, – and, and I've met that him. Man, that man knows how to, how to get views on the video, 100%. Yes. Yeah, he knows how to push buttons and everything, but oh, I've yeah. met him. Yeah. You can ask Lola. I met him at a SHOT Show a couple of years ago, and we stood up in the middle of the floor of SHOT Show talking for like three hours, right or wrong, Lola? Yeah. So we were talking and, you know, that he's he's totally cool to get along with. But I, I guarantee you that when he gets in front of a camera, he knows how to start shit. He's, he's a fucking a he's no, no, he's a drama queen. That, that's that's more of it. He's not. A, he's a drama. <laughs> no, he really is. He's a drama queen. He knows how to start shit. And guess what? He 100 percent has the right to start yeah. trouble and fuck around with people and yeah. say whatever the hell he wants to. He it said don't... shit about me. He says shit on my videos when he feels like it. Guess what? I don't really get mad, but I'm not like a I'm not one of the big dogs. So when he says some shit about me, I think, oh, that helps people like pay attention to me. And if they come to my channel, then they'll see what I'm really about. And um, now he's he's messing with the Iraq veteran crew because they're the big dogs, right? That's who you go after. You go after the bigger people. But if you guys go look at what Chad and Eric and everyone else at Iraq Veteran has been doing over the years, they've been on your side. They've been working for you. So if they're making money or if they're the big dogs or whatever for it, then they fucking deserve that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with making money. Yeah. So, you know, you you can't hate on them for that. And they've put a lot of time, energy, and effort into doing things for you. If you only want Yankee Marshals out there, you're just going to get people talking shit about stuff that they don't actually do. 
you know, one of the things, for example, with Yankee Marshall, he always has shit to say about Caltech. And I'm not like, you know, I'm on, I'm not in Caltech's good books, right? But I actually own Caltech guns. Yeah. <laughs> I actually own them. I've shot them and all that kind of stuff. Yankee Marshall doesn't own one fucking Caltech gun at all. Oh, I've heard of Caltech. <laughs> you know, he hates Caltech, hundred percent. Yeah, he hates Caltech, and his basis for that is he goes to shot show. He looks at the guns, and he once or twice on the range shot something. And and if you and if people out there think that that's awesome and that's who they want to get their information from, then you you uh, you have the right to do that. Knock yourselves out. But if you if you are looking for folks who put their time and their energy and their sweat, blood, and tears, I mean, into bringing you information on guns and stuff like that, like Walter, you've got something that you bought from PSA, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And it works okay. just fine, doesn't now, it? And did you see Eric burn one of those down? Did you ever watch that video? I know I've seen it. Did he burn? Oh, is, that what, was that, is that what he burned up? Yep. Okay, well, I, 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 I have news for you, you uh, people. People. You people. <laughs> you, you, people. You, you put a plastic handguard on a Daniel Defense, you put a plastic handguard on a POF gun, and you shoot it. And shoot it and shoot it. Guess what'll happen? It's gonna it's gonna melt. <laughs> it's gonna melt. It's gonna catch fire. The gas tube's gonna break. It will. It'll come apart. I don't care what the, if it's direct impingement, or even even a scar. You shoot enough, eventually it's gonna stop. Yeah, exactly. So you can say that. You can say that, right? That's fine. You know, you, no, nobody, what I'm saying to nobody, you is nobody sits down and shoots their PSA gun a thousand rounds like that or two thousand. They don't do it. And so. Yeah, nice you can say, yeah, you can say that this is what's going to happen. And then Eric goes out there and however he's able to do it, he gets the gun, he gets the ammo, he puts his life at risk, right? He takes his time and he burns it down for you. So you can look at something and you could be entertained and you could be educated and you could see this thing. And if you don't appreciate it, I could tell you that I can see from the statements that he was making on Facebook and stuff like that, um, you know, He's, I mean, you kind, he's kind of hurt that the gun community thinks that he somehow betrayed them. You and, that's kind of, and that's fucked up. If you guys actually think that a rock veteran betrayed you or something, then I don't know. I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you've been looking at. Yeah. So, you I know, that's that's and, the thing I think about that. Yeah, It takes a lot more than just one, you know, one little thing to make me think somebody. I, I don't know what's really going on, so it's hard to say. Yeah. So, uh, Buse uh, Fallis says Yankee may be going a bit too far, but Eric wasn't really vocal enough on the chat. Um, but I can think everyone can agree Clint sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know who that Clint, the Clint guy was. He was, he was. I guess he was obviously like from from what I saw, he was moved by this because he knew two of the people that died in this whole thing, and he thinks that something has to be done. Who, who but is there, this? There was a there was a guy on there named Clint and he's a gun guy. I have no fucking idea who he is. Oh, so any new um, two people have died? Yeah. So um and I understand where he's coming from, but we can't do anything. We cannot do anything about it. There's if you if you waved a magic wand, right? And made all the guns in the world disappear right now, boom, like that. There's no guns existing anymore, we're still gonna fucking kill each other. I mean, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> If you said, okay, I'm going to wave this wand and everything that we could use to kill each other will disappear, then the world is just going to end. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to go stand out in the middle of the sandlot because I can, I can use three quarters of what's in this room to kill you. So oh, I, I, could use, I could use the sand. I could use the sand. To well, yeah, I really wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> if I pound enough of it down your throat, yeah, you're going to die, man. So. Yeah. This, the, we can't do it. I know that sounds like so incredibly... Uh, hopeless to people that oh you can't do anything yeah you cannot do anything about it except except you you can you know you don't want to give up your ability and I think that guys like Mac and Guns and Gear were talking about this As a matter of fact I remember Guns and Gear saying you know um, that he's been places in the world where they've taken guns away from the people and then committed genocide against the people what's well, worse well yeah well you know, so this is what you have to think about. The thing about having the guns in the world is it gives you something to fight back with, other than just your like bare hands. I just I gotta have I gotta have hearing protection though with this thing. 
I said, I just watched randomly. I'm just gonna throw this in there. I just watched that video you posted. The flame coming back out of the Jesus, it's nuts. <laughs> he needs a flame suppressant. Jesus, <laughs> it was fucking cool. So, you know, you'll be standing there outside doing it. It's gonna be just like that, but you're gonna get the whole fireball. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So. I, I'm with you. Yeah, so the Archangel oh, yeah. says um, the greatest pro-gun YouTubers on the Second Amendment side are Mac, IB8888, uh, me. Um, everyone else is just filler. Okay, you know, there's there's lots of guys who are out there fighting for this, you know. I mean, there's, um, a, lot, there's a lot of people doing things that aren't on the Internet, too. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, just because somebody's got a YouTube channel, they got 3 million subscribers or whatever the hell they got. That yeah. doesn't mean some of those subscribers are sitting in a hut in Namibia, like I said before. Yeah. And you can't do a fucking thing. So yeah, I think ultimately what we all need to do is we need to push back, right? We need to push back against our politicians. We were talking about that. Um, I, I, there's stuff in the there's a link in the description of this video if you guys want to reach out to the White House, to the president specifically, and send yeah. him messages and say, hey, you know, don't sign gun control bills. Etc. In a respectful way, you don't want the the yeah, secret service be, showing up on your doorstep. No, no, don't be, don't be, don't be a, don't be uncivil. Yeah. That's yeah. what I say. Be you civil. Know. You know, be civil. Um, and, you, and you're showing the floaters patch. I haven't seen any of those floaters patches come come yeah. in yet. Yeah. So. All right, so I don't know if you guys have anything else to say on that. I mean, uh, I don't, gonna, I don't want to dwell on it. I have a two-hour yeah, drive tonight, so I'm going to watch the video when I'm on the road. Okay, all right, it, rather, okay. The, the round so we're going to see you Sunday, I guess. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving till nine. But I'm oh, just saying, oh, oh. Uh, I'm just saying that once. Yeah, Marley's working a late yeah. shift. So By the way, did you see my shirt? Look, check this out. I love that shirt. Have man. you seen this shirt? Check this out. <laughs> Salt with the dead weapon. I like yeah. it. That's really yeah. cool. I like yeah. that. You gotta get that's uh, one of the Forge from Freedom shirts. Okay, let's go into some uh unless folks still have stuff they need to get off their chest out there. Yeah. Um here's uh, but you know what, before I end this, I'm gonna ask you guys to do something because I think that you know if if you guys actually if you actually appreciate the the guys that are making videos for you, the gun tubers out there, you might wanna give show them some appreciation instead of like kicking their asses right now. That's just that's just my suggestion to you. I'm not saying that about me. I'm just saying, you know, don't go out there and kick everyone's ass, <laughs> you know, right now. Just show a little bit of appreciation if you really like what they're doing. So let's, uh, you guys want to show some stuff? You guys, you were you were watching, you were watching essay. I'm gonna no, go, man. I'm going to go oh, in first. Geez. Did you that see one. that Faxon came out with these new barrels? Did you see that? Yeah. Is it compensated? Is there a compensator on it? No, there's not a compensator. It is threaded, so well, you, know. Know, if you put a can on that. Oh, do you want ports also, Patrick? <laughs> you want ports as well, I think, man? I think top guns are stupid unless you're running a, a compensator. <laughs> yeah, but I like this though. I think this looks good, man. No, that looks really cool. I like the, yeah. the red down on top. Because you, yeah. you know me. You think of flat dark earth and yeah. I'm all about it. Yeah, RM06 right here, man. Trichicon, baby. And this is uh this is one that this is the MOS, Glock 19 MOS. I'm gonna have to bring my, I'm gonna have to bring my ginormous trigicon out. Sure. For anyone that wants to know, we oh, should put the uh, we should put the uh, what was it called, the uh, the L can on top of that, Walter. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, there you go. I can show you guys that. I was gonna show you the um, the uh, you know Smith and Wesson came out with the. Shield no. 2.0. Have you picked one up? I want to see what it's like. <laughs> I did pick it up. I wasn't able to bring one in. They have one at Big Daddy Guns, but how does um, it feel? I mean, because you carry a 43, right? A Glock 43. Yeah, I carry a 43, and right here in my hands, this is Lola's uh, shield. Oh, okay. I didn't know Lola carried a shield. Okay. Yeah, she has a shield, so that's what I got here. So, um, just I'm just gonna throw this out there. Right. I tried one of the original shields, and I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it, which is oh, okay. why I never picked one up. I'm wondering I, uh, how the new one is. Yeah, Lola Lola thinks she shoots better with the shield. I think I shoot better with the uh, Glock 43. We've had, I think we did a video about this. Mm -hmm. But she, you know, for her hand and everything, I think it's good. She's got smaller hands compared to mine. So what I did see of the um, the the 2.0 shield is that there's like more stippling right here. Okay, and uh, the trigger is better. Okay, good. 
the that's trigger. Because- this this has like a squishier trigger, which is one of the things I don't like about this. Mm-hmm. So the new the new trigger is a lot crisper than than what this has, and then also there's some serrations up front here to help you like pull it back. Yeah, the khaki. Yeah. You can. Yeah, I, I, I want to try it because uh, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking it, the compact feels great. I picked it up when I was at your house last time. The mm. compact is awesome. So I'm hopefully if I get the opportunity. Yeah, to we're we're supposed to do videos on that baby face, God, but I don't, I don't know, know man. Jesus. You're you're like working for a living or something. I got like yeah. This these next this month has been insane. Let me tell you. Um. So yeah, the compact is. I, I hopefully will be able to buy that one off of you when it. The team. I'm sorry, Babyface, you are not doing your part for the Second Amendment. By buying more guns? I don't, I don't want to hear how much work you have to do. Get your butt out there. No, I'm so, just, yeah, I want to I wanna try the shield and compare it to the 43 because I like my 43, but if the, sh- the shield feels like the full-size uh, 2.0, if it's similar at all, I love the 2.0. So you, you know what's amusing me here, Walter? You know what I've noticed with, with Babyface? Oh, oh, oh! You're talking. I thought you start talking about me because I was going to say something. But go ahead. Oh no, no! I was going to say all of a sudden, Babyface is all about Smith and Wesson. Have you noticed if it that? Fits, oh. I'm telling you, if it fits my hand, I'll go with whatever company works best for me. You notice I get quiet with all this pistol talk. Why? Are you not a fan of pistols? Is that what, like? Is that what you're trying to say? You don't like the pistols? Well, two point oh, da 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 da. It's like that mechanically, is it different? A little bit. I mean, it's it, a little bit different. It's not a huge difference. I could tell you that it's not huge. I, you know, I, I guess. I mean, a better trick, for example, a, a better trigger. You can put a better trigger in there over buying another gun. The stippling, you can stipple the gun over buying another gun. Now, the serration, the serrations up front, maybe that matters to me. It doesn't, but I know that there are some people right. that have problems getting that slide back. Well, primarily females. Um, yes, primarily women who refuse to cut their nails off, and they have to have <laughs> long ass nails. <laughs> Like I like uh, like Lola, I keep telling her get rid of the nails. You don't need the damn nails. But I can show off a little bit. Let's that's see. apparently a violation of her <laughs> womanhood. <laughs> For me to tell her she's got to cut the nails off. I ain't saying nothing to nobody. <laughs> oh, you staying out of this? <laughs> yep. All right, let me just uh, yeah. thank every. We got a lot of people watching us, so thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you click the thumbs up and share this video. Yeah. Oh, look at you! What you got? That's a banana four. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> yeah, where, where did you get that from, Patrick? Yeah, Mark. I if he's watching, I love it. I've shot it like every weekend. I take it and shoot it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you love that thing, huh? Oh okay. man, it is. It is the best shotgun I've ever. Had. You're welcome. I hope you. I hope you remember that one. Oh, I hope you remember who hooked you up with that Benelli. I was trying to the other night when Kevin was on. I was trying to get in that you know Benelli used to be in bed with HK. Yeah, yeah, they were the the original M2s and M4s were HK marked. Yeah, uh, maybe not the M4s. The M2s I know were. Yeah, they used to be. They used to be like kissing cousins. Those mm-hmm. guys. Yeah, the, you know how old a H uh, Benelli is if it's HK import marked. Yeah. But, oh well, yeah, this thing is this thing is awesome. Lightest recoiling shotgun, uh, and. It just, it just feels so cool. Whatever, yeah, I mean, you're gonna dough there, son. Come on. Huh? What's up? You're going to wear it out going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go blind. <laughs> okay. We got we to gotta prepare it for the for the war, for the zombie apocalypse. Here we go. You go blind yeah. if you keep talking that. There we go. It's prepared for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> um, okay. So someone zombie wants apocalypse. to know if I'm going to upgrade the, um, the sights to suppressor height. I, I don't know. Is know. that actually your gun, though? Yeah, this is my gun. Oh, that's the okay. That's this your is my gun. um. This is my look. Whenever if you have a, if you, you know have how a many, do you know how many Glocks I have? I do know. Yeah, I got a lot of Glocks. <laughs> if if you have a an RMR on it, I don't think you need uh, suppressor sights. Yeah, that's just I, me. yeah, I probably I probably it would just get in the way. Well, tell me something. If you buy a shield from PSA, is it is the same as a buying it from some other retailer? The, the <laughs> shields. So the shields that they have. Yeah, I know. The shields that they yeah, have, they have a stupid think, good deal on them. They have a pretty good deal running yeah, on them. Like Are you asking something? that sarcastically or what? Yes. <laughs> I think if you – well, well, I, I, I don't have a damn thing against uh, PSA, no. Bud's Gun Shop. I don't care where it well, comes from. When I mentioned about PSA and their, and their bundled deals, uh-huh. and they sell uh, 500 rounds of ammo with 10 Magpul mags, you get the rebate, and then you get 10 – Basically, ten free mags. You can't beat that anywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I, we need. 
when I bought when I bought that site that I bought with ten Magpul mags, basically the the mags are free. You yeah, know? I will never ever knock a deal. I will never knock a deal. I'll tell you that uh, when it comes to that, Patrick R is a little bit of a snub. I was just about to say he was man. <laughs> He's I a little snub. dollars he doesn't want to touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm not going to knock a deal. As a matter of fact, like we have to do a special show, but people are going to have to help us with this. Here's what I'm going to suggest to you guys. We need to do a uh, Black Friday show, right? Talk about all the deals. Well, I need, I need to, yeah. Yeah, we need to figure out like a way where, or I don't know if we should do it like more than one show where we're talking about deals and stuff like that. that are Cyber Monday is a good one too because a lot of these companies are, are way They're already starting that stuff. Oh, don't remind. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that's already starting. So, and by the way, Lola is throwing up deals on. Um, a lot of times, she throws it up on the fan page, Strange on Facebook. So you guys should check that out when she finds deals and stuff like that. She's always throwing it up. So I don't know if you guys got to see it, but this is what the uh, facts on barrels come in. Okay. So they have it for the seventeen, the nineteen, and the thirty-four, and uh, this is the matte black one. So it doesn't look as sexy. Oh, I don't. It doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, but I really, I, I like them. I prefer the matte black over the. Yeah, I like you know, over it, the gold. Things get too gold. It gets, it gets too funny looking. You know? Yeah, the here's, gold looks. The gold question. looks good though. How the much gold. is that fax on payroll? Um, good question. I'm gonna look I, it up to see what I can find. I have to because go. Yeah, go I've, look it up on the website. I've run the, fax, uh, fax sent these to me I've run to the test. So. Wolf. Uh -huh. I've run the wolf barrels for in my Glock. Uh, that's I, I have a wolf barrel that I use for any suppressed shooting on my Glock. That thing has never failed me. The wolf barrel? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we're it, gonna we're cheap. gonna test these barrels right here. We're gonna test the well, living crap I'm out of them. Throw something at <laughs> about all these Glock barrels. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are made in Korea. Are they really? Let's see. A lot of them are made in I'm not saying the ones you just showed are, and I'm not saying this, but a lot of the name brand barrels you see yeah. from the, are made in Korea. Yeah, but facts yeah. on. Okay, so just okay. I understand exactly what you're saying, but just so you guys, I don't Made know. If this is, like I, said, I don't know if you guys are gonna focus on it, but there's a flag on here. Faxon makes their stuff right here in America. There's nothing wrong. So. I, that barrel I had, I don't know if you remember back when I brought the Glock out. They had the we threw the suppressor on it. Patrick had a suppressor mm -hmm. thing, and I spared. <laughs> that was a Korean made barrel, and guess what? It worked just fine. Yeah. For, for which gun? Pardon me. For which which gun is that? Um, I brought my seven Glock 17 out, and you oh, have. Oh, and it was a like Korean made. I didn't, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, and it it stainless yeah. steel. It worked fine. So Walter Jake Arnold wants to know what's the place to look for a AR-15 barrel. What do you think is a good place? Well, I'm gonna get some hate for this. Um, <laughs> we, Bear Creek Arsenal's got some hellacious deals, um, mm -hmm. and they supply a lot of barrels to other manufacturers, by the way, too. For all you prima donna. Obviously. Yeah. So Highway Run seventy seven says at Lola Strange. Sorry, Yankee says he is scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lola? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> no, there's. Uh, you just got to. Um, right now, I mean, so, there's so many deals out there. Oh, here's I my mean, other. You're being run all the time on AR parts. Yeah. You just gotta, just gotta. Just shop around. There's a lot of good stuff. Faxon's ran some good deals too on their stuff. Oh yeah, Faxon always has deals going. Um, I feel like their, their barrels are reasonably priced. Yeah, their bar we've used their barrels in builds also. By the you way, know, yeah. they, make a, they make a good pencil barrel. By the way, if you cannot do anything besides Noveski or this or that, you're going to still pay a lot of money. And, and and be honestly, most people couldn't tell the difference. You know what's funny is uppers and lowers for their the uppers and lowers are only made by like four different companies. They're machined. By by like four, maybe right. five different manufacturers, right? And right. Then they, so, they put them out to everybody. Lots you know? of stuff is like that. Um, yeah. so for example, everyone loves uh stuff from Spikes Tactical. They don't make anything. Yeah, they don't, they don't yeah, make. They don't make, yeah. <laughs> they don't make a fucking thing. They, they no. assemble what they buy from other companies. <laughs> With their name yeah. on it, and that's and, not, there's nothing wrong with that because no, there is nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. Lots right, of companies right. do I, that. I, I completely understand that. Trust mm -hmm. me. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you if you have to make everything you make. It, it can get a little old after a while, but oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so, so Archangel says, uh, Lola Strange. Uh, this might be a private conversation Lola's having with people, but he, <laughs> he says uh, Yankee is afraid of you because he knows you could whoop his ass. Oh, so I'm gonna throw Yankee, this. Out Yankee there. Marshall is a um, he's a drama queen, not a fighter. So I, I'm gonna throw <laughs> I'll this. I'll tell you that right now. He's not like gonna kick anyone's ass. I don't think I'm not saying he's afraid of anyone either. 
Palmetto but he's State not Armory's, the kick ass kind of dude. Huh? Palmetto State Armory's lower build kits, where it comes with a stock and the buffer tube and all that, those yeah. are unbeatable to me. Because yeah, to me, a lower build kit, they're all the same. They're literally all the same. I, they just ran it where they got, and I, I know their AR, their AR10 platform is a little different than some of the other ones, I guess. Um, but for like 159 for a complete lower. Where are you? Where are you going to get this with, with yeah. a with like a Magpul stock and everything? I, I got news for all the prima donnas out there. All the lower does is make the thing go bang. Yeah, sorry. It just, yeah, it just holds your fire control. If it says Noveski, it doesn't shoot anything any better than. No, no. You just get to brag to your friends that you well, have. Right, well, like if I, you're I, gonna, <laughs> well, I know if, yeah. if you're going to spend your money, if you're going to spend a lot of money on one or two components, make it the barrel. That is, to me, the most important thing is a very yeah, high quality barrel. A decent quality barrel, and guess what? Decent quality ammo. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But if you want to brag to people. <laughs> uh, I only shoot uh, this... Black Hills Mark 262, 77 grain sniper ammo. That's it. That's all I carry. That's all I shoot. Yeah. So, uh, it's uh, $1.72 a shot, and it's the best. But listen, wait a second. Is there something wrong with a nice brag? I don't think, listen. A humble a nice brag? brag? Yeah, a nice brag, you know. Like, what are we doing some of this shit for, you know? No, you well, know look at what Walter's doing. Point. Look, Walter's, what's Walter doing right now? <laughs> what is he doing? I get more pleasure. You can have your $12,000 AR-15. This will get your wood up. A lot faster than oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We, we are all jealous of you, okay? <laughs> you know, there's and nothing I don't else. Care who you are, white, black, male, female, you shoot this thing. If you don't smile when you get done, oh, God. you're great dead. So the first time you pull a trigger on a machine gun, yeah. it's just that's why ear. that's <laughs> why machine guns have to go back to being legal, man. Oh, because God. if 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 machine guns were legal, more of us would be happy. Mm, <laughs> yeah. All the time. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get the ammo. I'm going to have to go into the ammo business just to get the ammo. I know you've seen this, but this is, you know, um, this is our Polymer 80 buildup that we did. I got to do so this. Was like, this was one of the original ones. Yeah, right? those, those original yeah. frames are, I, I, I've got one to build, and they're, yeah. and th that, those little ribs are all going to come off on mine. Yeah, so this is an original one. That's why I'm showing this to everyone. I know. Look at baby face. He's making faces over there. He's not a big fan of it. Okay, but it's because I fucked it so bad. Like I, that build was. Yeah. Let, now let me point out that the back. these are the special baby face two holes <laughs> right here. They're the holes that baby face did. But this is. I'm never getting rid of this. This is classic. I mean, right. you know, it runs. It so, runs all right now. Yeah. Yeah, it runs okay. I've got as long uh, as you don't put a suppressor on it. It's the you need a lighter uh, a lighter recoil spring for a suppressor. Okay. Right, and I also have an arm. I have all the parts. I have all the parts to build one now. Yeah, so. dude, it's easy, especially yeah. with a machine shop. You can crank one out yeah. in like thirty minutes. Yeah. Right? yeah, and this, by the way, is a KE KE arm slide, and it's a I think a Zev barrel. That's High what it's it. talk about it. Yeah, some, some money. Some money went into that. But there's a reason why I'm showing you guys that now. Do you guys have more gun porn that you want to show? Uh, I, I got a creek on the ground, and I think that's. I it. have another one. I have another. Okay, go ahead, Walter. It's all you. Let me get it out of the box. Because I'm going to – I'm gonna. somebody was saying like uh, – someone was asking what Walter had in the box, but they were talking about um, – what was it? The Seven seven Sins. What's that movie with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman? Here's the box. Uh-oh. CZ box. Uh-oh. All right. CZ. Oh, and by the way, uh -huh. for all you people that throw some hate at the Palmetto State, I found a cheaper deal in Palmetto State. <laughs> on this, on this pistol. Here we go. Oh, From where? Where did you find this deal? Um, Bill Hicks. They had them on closeout. I never even heard of Bill Hicks. What Bill the hell? Hicks, I haven't either. They're a what distributor the in Minnesota. Actually, they're pretty big. They're the shot show. Oh, it's a distributor. So that's only the special people like Walter, who's a. I, I guess no, I'm a that is, Don't stop. That is dope. That's nice, man. It's very nice. This is a real, stock. When I say it's a real rifle, it's a real military rifle. It's not something cooked up to be look like a military gun. That needs a stock on it for sure. Right, well, we're gonna we're gonna make a collapsible stock for it actually. Oh, so okay. this is uh this is um five five six. Yes, sir. Okay. And the nice they come with like a little ten round mag or twenty round mag. Well, you know what they ship it with? Piston driven. What is it for hunting or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a little tiny <laughs> ten rounder or something. That's, they ship it with two fives. A two fives, it's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, DC2 Mega Boost wants to know how the Gen 5 is running. We haven't shot the Gen 5 because I'm waiting for baby. Fa See this guy oh, right here? Yeah, you It's go. his fault because I'm waiting on him to do stuff. 
And that's we're doing one. it. We're doing it this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Walter. Let's see oh, the wait, details. We're gonna, we're gonna make a nice collapsible stock for this, and and uh, and uh, you know, for your SBR, maybe a pistol brace kind of thing. But does it uh, does it have the ability to just accept a stock, or do you have to? Yeah. This you push the button here, and it slides right off, and then you just replace it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh this this is a sweet. That looks oh, really that's gonna cool. be nice. That's gonna. Be oh yeah, I see you put a. I see you put a proper magazine on there. Thank you. Yeah, I got a forty, 40 round mag pull on there. Yeah. Round, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll we'll shoot this Sunday. What was the What was the price on it? Clearance. Twelve ninety nine. Okay, let me ask you a question, Walter. You know this is a very important question. I got to ask you right is now. Is it? Is it going full auto? <laughs> huh? Probably not. Oh damn it, Walter! Come on. It'll go. It'll probably go the SBR side, but I don't think. This it's is a piston. It's piston driven, and you're not going to go full auto. If I can find the innards, at the right, the right innards, it's a possibility. Oh, oh okay. So yeah, we got to research that. I'm not going to butcher. I'm not going to butcher it to do it. Right? Yeah. By the way, before I forget, did you guys see that there was a recall on the uh, M249 S? No. The FNs. Wait, the military guns or the ones that were civilians? The S. I don't know. Do they convert too easily? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, hold on. Let me see if I could pull it up. Hold on. There was something in the news about this on one of the channels. Let's see. Um, oh, let's see. Let's see. Where did I see this thing about? Because uh, safety recall. FN has it on the website. M249S safety recall. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Mandatory safety recall for all FN M249S rifles. Yeah, but up, bum, bum. Does it safely go too fast? <laughs> a recently identified design issue within the hammer group of the rifle may adversely affect the rifle's reliability. Under certain circumstances, a reset failure within the hammer group may cause the M249S to cease to function, causing an unsafe firing event. Oh, so that <laughs> sounds like full auto. Firing <laughs> event, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, hit, don't hit the back of it with a hammer. Uh. <laughs> Causing an unsafe firing event. I we have unsafe firing events all the time. <laughs> Whenever Walter brings the full autos over. <laughs> uh, to restore this, uh, I, can't, to restore I, can't this look, I can't let go of this thing. I just this thing is just. You're cool. enjoying it. It looks I'm, good, man. It looks. So sexy. why'd you why'd you go pistol grip instead of stock though? Oh come on, Patrick. Oh man, I stock anything tiny. Look I like the stock. Thing. He <laughs> likes he, he likes the look of that. He uh, he yeah. thinks now he's a Somali pirate. <laughs> All right, are we gonna barter ship? <laughs> I don't think that's how they sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think the Somalis. Uh, I don't think that's a Somali do accent. Good, do you have a good South African accent you can put on? Uh, it's kind no, of same, no, isn't it? <laughs> no. I'm not good at the South African accent. <laughs> I can do like a I can do like a West African like you know. Small boy, you're in trouble. That, there you go. That sounds kind of simple. Yeah, so they got pirates yeah. over there too. Yeah. So just as many as they. Do oh, as oh, as. trust me, I know, man. That's that's my people. I used to live that's in Nigeria. Bad. Those that's are bad. some pir. Those are some pirating mofos right there. That's a bad such. That's a bad. Part of Would you say they plunder the booty? Yeah, that's where a lot of my uh, pirate blood comes from. <laughs> uh, I got I got the pirate blood on all sides. You know that comes from my Indian side. And from the, the, um, the thuggies, the thuggies, yeah. I told about somebody the thuggies you now, today. yeah. I told somebody you were a thuggy. Yes, I am a thuggy. If you people don't believe it, go look it up. I don't have like thug life or anything written on me, but that, I am the true original thuggies. Yeah, no, those are yes. The um, on my mom's side, I'm Indian, and those are the real rapey and murdery type of thugs. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they were really bad. Yeah, they were so you, bad that the what? British Empire basically um, eradicated them. Right? Yeah, exterminated. Exterminated. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you like sneeze genocide. And they would like shank you. Yeah, they committed genocide against a lot of them, but you know the blood still lives on. What can I say, people? <laughs> the blood lives on. Rod Mills says Guyana. Oh, should we do a should we do a nice one? Rod Mills from is Rod Mills from Guyana, Lola? Is he Guyanese? I don't think so. Oh, okay. He's just repping for the Guyanese people. So <laughs> guess what? I got I got a um. It sounds like Grabski. A, yeah. a box came to me, man. Uh -oh. There's a there's a box that came here to me. That is that is Hank's special spider coat that he is very protective over. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it paramilitary? Huh? Wait, is it paramilitary too? Oh man! Every time you ask me this, <laughs> I tried. I tried cutting something open the other day, have, and Hank is like, "Do not break my knife." I have no idea. It came. This is like I got this from a uh, late Boy Scout, and so I'm not trying to mess it up. 
So, but I'm going to use it to open this box. I have no idea. Hand you mine. This is, you ready? I just, I just had that Brent there out there. You, you there you see. go. You see my little tiny. You can cut your box open. No, 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 no. Micro leather, man. No, I need a big knife. Silent, Silent yeah. Co. is doing some special editions on the Brent 805. Wait, they're doing special edition Brent 805s? Yeah, they, they're doing them. They're SBR in them and, and putting the can on them. They're, it's Whoa. pretty badass. They got a promotional video. It was on the firearms blog where I saw it at. So. Huh. Yeah. Speaking of that, let's go over there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Someone wants to know, like Lola's telling me someone wants to know, is, are they talking about my hair? If my hair is an S curl? This is my hair, dude. That's Jerry curl. This is how my, no, it's not Jerry curls. <laughs> yeah. This is oh, how my hair. What's in, the, what's in the box? This is how my hair looks. I told you guys I have Indian in my family. Uh oh. Oh boy. Here we go. Uh oh. What do you got? Uh oh. What's in the box? So you guys are gonna like this, an exclusive Brownells, oh. an exclusive Brownells second. polymer eighty is coming out of this box right now. Second gen, second gen. Yeah. Uh oh. This is the. Uh, this looks like the gray. You gotta break this open. <laughs> it's like a toy. Yeah. Break it out of the shell. It comes with its own. Uh, what do you call this thing, baby face? That's the, the guide for milling it. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice gray. Is it the compact or the full size? Uh, this is a Glock 19. Ah, the compact. Okay. So check this out. Ooh, I like it. That is really nice. I like that urban gray. Wow. I like that frame without all that goofy. Yeah. And this is an exclusive. Yes. This is an exclusive Brownells color, and it has the aggressive texture. Nice. On it. So there you go, guys. We're gonna build it. Yeah, we're gonna build this into something awesome. There you go. I think that looks like they uh, they sent another color over. No, no, actually. Did else in this area? Yeah. Okay, because Polymer eighty at some point was gonna send some, but I don't know if they ever did. Um. Yeah. I. I don't I, think I they don't ever. Did. I try to. I try to get in touch with them, but I haven't. You know, this is these are from Polymer eighty, but it's through Brownells because those are exclusive. They and then Brownells them. also is making their own slides, dude. Oh, that's really not. That is a big end on that slide. I got, when I when I bought yeah. my parts from mine, I think I bought them from. Did I get them from Brown Nose or mid? One of the. I got a really good deal on the slide. It was like seventy nine dollars or something. Oh, that yeah. is a good deal. So yeah. there you go. We're, so we're gonna be building up something, Patrick. Ah, it's, I'm ready. That's my favorite part. Don't let me out! Don't let me out! <laughs> Oh, you want to be part Come of over, we'll, we'll build You want to be part of, of this build? Technically, the person building it is me, just so you. Oh, I don't build them. I don't start them. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so so oh, we will be building. Yeah. So we're going to see. We're going to, like, you know, so this was the first one we did. Now we're going to do another one. The compact. And we, yeah, we're going to make this a lot sexier. Oh, yeah. Than, I need to make uh, some fun switches. Huh? I need to make some fun switches. Oh. Yeah, did you ever you, you know we could we could always make this one go fun switch if you want, Walter. Oh god, that we would destroy it. We're gonna make some post sample fun switch. Yeah. <laughs> um matter of fact, I think yeah, we've got a you know, Big Daddy Guns has a I, okay. I am with Screaming Skull Saloon. If Brownells right. will send us some stuff to put together in nineteen eleven, I have a frame, I will build a nineteen eleven for you. Yeah. Um okay, do they have um, do they have a do they have a eighty percent nineteen eleven? They do. There's a whole kit where you can do an eighty percent. Brownells has it? I think so, yeah. And you like you mill in the there's like a, a milling thing, milling jig okay. mill yeah. the slide. So if you guys want to see rails. that video, let us know and we could do it. I could ask them. I would see love if they to will, try it. If they will let us uh, do that, you know. It's just more expensive. Build a 1911. Build up a 1911. I'm willing to tackle that. Oh, it's great. always fun learning this stuff. I could tell you right now it's going to take a lot more time. Ooh, that is, a, that is something that will take multiple yeah. videos. Yeah. Um, a, big, a big shout out to Brownells for uh, sending us the stuff that we're going to use in the build. They sent a lot of stuff, actually. Um, so we're going to we're gonna be, doing, we're gonna be doing a build. That's what. What? Greg ninety eight K says I need a Russian Yashenka ha hat. Yes, that's funny. Ew. It's funny you Wait. mentioned that. We, my son wanted to buy a couple of them recently here, but um, the Sportsman's Guide's without of them. So. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say it. And, a, and a balaclava to go over your face. Well, I do have. You know, if you give me a second here, I do have an. I actually do have a Russian hat. I can get it and show it to you. It's not a. It's not a Yashenka, but it's it's something else that anybody that knows Afghanistan will recognize it. So. Um, for the history of Afghanistan and the Russians. One moment, please. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to building this up, by the way. 
it does it, it do you think it feels better than the other yeah i like the nicer. yeah i like the feel of it but and it does have that aggressive texture so no i'm looking forward to it that's going to be fun that's going to be fun we'll get that all built up and uh you know but a 1911 i'm totally down to take on a 1911. it's a lot more work than a glove. yeah i know i know it, it's scary so what what stuff do you have there baby face i know you've been all busy doing whatever um uh, i picked up i have i have a mp 2.0 i'll show you what i, I my mod that i did this okay, is really everyone's dumb, going to get guns and i feel like this is really stupid jealous. but it works really well so um should I've never seen that safari looking hat, but it's pretty cool. Oh, let's see. It's like the Russian boonie. Oh, I like goodness. it. You'll see it if you. They wore them in Afghanistan. They're wearing them in Syria. Something similar to this, but yeah. So, so I bought. Um, to, got... Yeah, with the hat pin. For the <coughs> NFT 2.0, I bought a holster for it, um, and I I got the like extended kind of drop leg thing where it puts the holster down a little lower on your hip. Um, and the problem I was having is when you go to draw from it. Because if you see the angle that it's at, it, it actually cants outwards a little bit. Um, when you go to draw from the holster, it tends to like flop on your leg, like flop up. Uh, so I, I ended up making, I had this sitting around. I stuck, uh, I stuck a piece of nylon through it with, uh, with a, a clip on either side. And it'll, it actually goes like, um, like a drop leg holster. It's close to a drop leg holster. Oh, okay. Um, and it totally, totally fixed the problem. You can draw from it and no longer like gets caught and jerks up okay and d does that make you feel sexier oh man it's like han solo up in this bitch. oh i was gonna say do you feel like laura croft <laughs> <laughs> careful oh, when that careful when that thing jerks up you never know what'll happen <laughs> um, <laughs> um um e um, Slam um e slamazar says i want to go pan for gold now with that hat <laughs> 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 so, and Vanessa Kitty says, I still buy and use military hats from the bases I visit. Oh, my fa when I'm out in the sun, I've got a boonie hat on, period. Yeah. So, Jay Thomas says, any idea why the 80% 1911 kits cost so much? Yeah, they, yeah, they are equal to many else. nice, complete guns. But they're not, plas they're not plastic either, so. Oh, see, that's right. They're metal. Huh? Yeah. 80% lower, they're $149. Oh, it's $149, because it's metal. Yeah. Polymer, Are they the, oh, the 1911 it? ones? No, no, no. She's saying the, the standard 80 percenters. Oh, oh. I don't know. No, the 1911s, um, though, okay, those are metal, right? I don't think those are polymer. Yeah, no, it's not a loop. It's not a, yeah. yeah. It's steel. Yeah. It's, it's a steel 1911. I mean, if you, yeah. if you shop uh, a stealth yeah. arms is one of them. Yeah. Uh, so why well, that's is the other uh, thing is there's only a couple manufacturers that are putting out the 80 percent kits, which is another reason why it's so expensive. Not everybody's doing it. Yeah, you might find it at a gun show. <clears throat> I know I was at a gun show in uh, Arizona, and I saw some kits, but I didn't get it. I should have, actually. Sarco has a lot of that stuff. So they have a, yeah, they have the cheap like uh, surplus parts. You can get a surplus parts kit for like and and eighty percent receivers and stuff like that. Yeah. Can you make a nineteen eleven go full auto? Oh yes, you can. Yeah. Mm. Really, I've never actually seen one. It's not. It's not as easy as a Glock where you just replace the part yeah. in the back. It's more involved. Oh. Okay, I've and then run full auto. I've seen gl uh Berettas, FNs, I mean, um, what do you call it? Yeah. High powers. Stuff yeah, 80% like yeah. frame from this company is $165. Okay. And you have to have, like, the jig and everything to, to put it together. The yeah, Phantom so. jig is 350 yeah. bucks. It's not cheap. It's definitely not cheap. No. So Rod Mills, uh, okay. Um, Block 81. Yeah, so Rod Mills says, Babyface, do you know any Belgium breeders in the Gainesville area? Belgium breeders. I think he's talking about is the dog, about the dogs. Is that a, is that the a sex, sexual a Mountain dog breeder. Yeah, I think he's talking about the dogs, but that's the other Patrick that. I was gonna say I have a uh, mutt. That was that Patrick from, from yesterday. This is a different Patrick. I know all the white people look alike, <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is a different hey, Patrick. This one, look at this one. This, this one's Patrick's happier. Got, this Patrick's got a goat herding dog. That's yeah, right. This, yeah, that's right. He'll chase some goats. Yeah. This Patrick is happier. That's why we call him Babyface. <laughs> So the other Patrick has a baby face too, but he's like, you know, not always happy. He's scowling all the time. Yeah. Um, Matt J says, can Walter make semi-auto stands or do we have to make our own? Yeah. Don't you have the regular, like, um, don't you have semi-auto stand kits? Walter? I do not know, but I have contemplated 
building a complete one from from scratch. Um, but Who's I scratching a, something. Not me. Oh, sorry. 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 Okay. Me. That's a nervous scratch. Um, okay. No, I, I've been thinking about it, and it wouldn't be that hard to do, but um, as I, I think, anyways. But um, um, it depends on how much demand there is for it, right? Like, how many people out there really want? I, I think stands are nice, man. Uh, if they're at the right price point, I, I yeah. probably couldn't now, make them fast let, enough. So let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Can you make a binary style trigger for a stash? Um, actually, if I was gonna build a stem uh -huh. gun, if I was to build uh -huh. a stem. Let me finish. I was, if I was to build a Sten gun, it would have AR trigger components in it. So okay, there you go. So then it could be done. It's a distinct possibility. Yes. Yeah, I think you should do that, my friend, because <laughs> I want one now. A distinct so put, possibility. Put me and Matt J on the list right now, uh, Babyface. You want one? <laughs> uh, yeah. If it's a, I'll even SBR it. I don't care. Yeah. Well, if you just don't put a stock on it, you make it as a pistol. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you could put a you could put a SB tactical brace on there. You're good to yeah, go. Yeah, put a brace on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're good to go, man. You don't need to do anything. Yeah, you don't DC, need to do anything. Yeah. DC two Mega Boost says uh, you guys need to start playing with some big cal ten millimeter. Yeah. And TKO five nine three seconds that. <laughs> I have I do, a I have I do a do fifty cal. Come on now. What I have a nineteen eleven frame downstairs that I want to build into a ten ten yeah. millimeter. It's hey, you know, what, you know, baby face, what I'd like to do on a, on a 45 frame is look at 7.6225 like the Chinese did. Has it? Have, has somebody yeah. made that before? They've done that before, yeah. Uh, that's Coker is such a cool round. Yeah, Vanessa yeah. Kitty says, I would like to find a Caucasian mountain dog breeder. <laughs> that's right. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Some, some, some getting some laughs out of that. Uh, Google. Google. <laughs> yeah. Um, Google what? Okay, okay, find, find <laughs> yeah. You never know what you'll find. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, okay, you so we need some gun news. Do we have anything cool? Um okay, gun news. Let's see what gun oh, news. Oh, hey, you know what? I speak I was gonna talk about that. You see, I was looking at the firearms blog, which I frequent quite frequently. <laughs> okay. You're gonna keep frequenting it? Yeah, they got good they got good stuff okay, on good. it. Okay, good. No, I'm just checking. Yeah. Um, I'm just checking. UK government considering ban fifty cal and lever release action rifles. Have you ever seen a lever release action rifle? Lever a lever release, release action? I don't yeah. know. Where yeah, you they, like squeeze it to. Uh, is it what, cool? What, they got a, it's, it's based on a VZ58. So basically, you, you, pull it, you pull the bolt back and it stays back. Mm -hmm. The first pull of the trigger, the bolt drops. Second mm -hmm. pull of the trigger, it fires. Ah. Uh. That's legal in England. So you have oh, to pull so. it twice every time? Right. So it's. Yeah. Yeah, but it's. But it's it's still a VZ58. So um, okay, you guys video. should you guys should look at what I just put in our internal chat. Okay, you guys should take a look at that. I'm gonna put it here in the um, chat for so that everyone else can see what the hell we're talking about. Um, have you seen this? Uh, oh, this yeah, I know I this that. is a vehicle thing. It's the Resboni Tank Tactical Urban Vehicle. That's a POS. Uh, you what? Did you see the new one? Did you see the new one that the military's uh, taking on? It's the new yeah. contract to get rid of the Hummers. Right, oh, yeah, that's no. kind of a heavy pig too, actually. But so you're hating on the Resvani, huh, Walter? You know, Walter a, likes the Hummers. No, no. What the reason I don't like some of those vehicles because they weigh as much as a house. Oh, <laughs> so okay. and they're not they're not actually very mobile when you think about it on the road, you know, and they look four wheel drive. But if you get in really bad shit, sorry. Oh, okay. You're hating. You know, so, you know what? My my brother anonymous would me today that Walter is his favorite person that comes on this show. <laughs> um, Walter speaks his mind. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, he likes Walter, but he likes uh, he also likes the Resvani. That's why I was going to talk about well, it. You know, it, it's so a, you just came down a peg. He's now unsubscribing from you, Walter. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's not going. He's not doing that. Let me, me make further on that thing. If you got lots and lots of Jack. I don't think it's going to be that heavy. It's basically no, I mean it's basically money. a Jeep. It's a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's, it's armor plate. If it's armor proofed, it's it's not going to be light. Yeah, but isn't that isn't the the body material um, Kevlar? You ever, you ever it's see Kevlar. That's not super heavy. The Kevlar. You ever see how they build an armored car? Yeah, but this is Kevlar. No, Am Kevlar's going to stop no, pistol. But, but the glass is not Kevlar, so the glass has to be extra thick. Maybe. It's, 
it, it looks, looks good. good. I like how it looks. Whatever. I think it. Well, you know, that's to each his own. Go ahead, you know. hate on it all you want. No, I'm to. not hating. I'm just telling you. Walter the R. I'm gonna start calling you Walter did, R from now on. Did you guys see the uh, the guy in Tampa today that got uh, arrested? For um, he so so they went to his house with the suspicion that he was uh, selling child porn. So that was like the warrant that they had. Mm -hmm. Turns out he didn't have any of that, but he had an arsenal, which to me is just a normal day and, you know, guns. But he also yeah. had, like, a, a poster, like, of, uh, like, a couple schools that he had, was might have gone and shot up and some, like, memoir. Oh, let me see if I can find the news article. I read it. It was insane. Um, I, I just thought it was funny because what the news was saying was like an arsenal. I was like, that's like half my safe right now. Like, yeah, they don't want to see. They don't want to see um, what kind of guns I got. Lots of guns. So what? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I mean, and how like, many? How many guns did he have? I want to know what's the number that made it, was it an like arsenal. Seven. <laughs> oh my god, that's not an arsenal. The other thing that I thought was funny I was got like seven thousand. He had incendiary devices and uh, and um, uh, what they called incendiary devices and. Um, Gunpowder. They also said he had gunpowder. In the oh. picture, it's like one pound of Pyrodex, which is like black powder substitute, uh -huh. and uh, and the, the little flare pins, those little pins. <laughs> the points. media just always gets like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the guy, the guy looks like he probably was a crazy piece of shit, but uh -huh. I just thought it was funny because it was. But so well, nice. if that's the case, they're putting us under the prison. <laughs> but but he hadn't done anything, right? But exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know the whole story. They, well, you don't know the whole story. Yeah. yeah if if they yeah, had a warrant yeah, for for child porn, then I'm assuming they had something on him. Well, yeah, that's, apparently that's he had some kind of revenge note. Greg ninety eight K saying that, but I did see that in the news. Yeah. As okay. Well. So somebody else saw the news. Yeah, I yeah. saw. I think I saw that this I morning. I didn't see it. No. Yeah, I saw that this morning. Um, so also in the news, speaking of that, you guys know that there there were some, uh, you know, it's like yesterday we had the whole white supremacist dude. Yeah, what happened? So apparently yeah. there were three white nationalist protesters. Shot a gun who, at some people or something? Yeah, they, yeah, they shot a gun yeah, at someone here in Gainesville. So they had those guys' asses locked up. Yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. illegal. So, so yeah. The guy, the um, hired security, I don't know why he thought it was a good idea. The one that got arrested who hey. had press credentials, had a gun on him. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he thought it was a good idea to carry a gun on campus because you can't do that. Yeah, that's illegal in Florida. <laughs> yeah, you might can't do not that. have known that. And they hang, they hang, uh, arrest him for it. Mm -hmm. When you, when you get it? a chance, Hank, go back to that Ravani or whatever that car was and look, at the, look at the picture of the, the thickness of the doors. Okay, what, hold on. Okay. Oh, no, so these were actually like pipe bomby looking things that this guy had. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, here, let me get this link for you guys. Okay. You want yeah. you want me to see how thick the door from the from uh, yeah it's like a double right <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's thick doors it's thick okay fine that's way oh, see there you go wait the guy with the gun uh, Greg ninety eight K I'm not sure if he means the guy with the press credentials was a felon or the white supremacist guy was a felon one of them I don't know or, they arrested three dudes here yeah. in Gainesville so yeah um. Okay, well, the, yeah. the dude, the dude that had the stuff in his house. If you make bombs, that's illegal. Okay, that's that's yeah. illegal. I guess that so, yeah, so that's illegal. Yeah. Did you guys see the link I put in the? I, the, I put the link in the chat to the K I L N or okay. kill kill. Yeah, so the, the one of the white supremacist guys was a felon with a gun. Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see the kiln, Vitaly Bolgarov's AR-15 deck stock? No, I just put a link oh, in the that, chat for for making for having to make a New York slash California legal. That's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah, that's it's a cool credit. looking stock. Oh, yeah. yeah, those 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 stocks are kind of like it reminds me of a movie gun. Yeah, yeah it's like sci-fi. I like that. Yeah. yeah, right, right. I don't have a problem with those. I mean, a lot of people like throw a lot of hate that way, but if it you know, gets you around their stupid laws, I think it looks all right. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, it looks good. I don't know how much it is. The Caltech RDB, the California legal model. The I like one. Yeah. I think it almost looks better than the original. It looks really cool. It does. Lots of people say that. Um, Anonymous Strange loves that thing. Yeah. I haven't actually. Did, have I? Have I seen one? I think I have seen one at Shot Show or something like that. But I haven't uh, shot them or anything. So back to that. Back to that Rizvani tank thing. Mm -hmm. The car. <laughs> Walter's not letting it go. No, no. I'm just, oh boy. I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm just looking at the suspension just from the picture of the ones in there. And uh -huh. it really doesn't look like it's got really heavy duty axles and stuff. So maybe it's not as heavy as I think. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's just on your standard or maybe like a little bit upgraded because yeah. it's basically built on a Jeep Wrangler. Right. But I'm sure it costs 
you know. For what you're seeing there, probably close to 100 grand. Yeah. So. Honestly, what I would do is just wait. Um, I know that in 2018, Wranglers coming out with new Wranglers. Yeah. They, they've, uh, they're redoing them. And I think later on in the year, they're going to have Diesel. Diesel. Okay. There you go. All right. Yeah. I'm just putting I, that out there. Diesel. No hate, no hate toward Diesel. Diesel. Oh, you don't. Yeah. You don't. You like Diesel, right? You're when we were over in you, well, when we were over in Europe um, or in England last year, we rented a, a Volkswagen um, uh, wagon. I forget the exact model. Oh, I was going to say you should have rented a Scirocco. That would have been awesome. That's ancient, man. They don't make Scirocco's anymore. They do. They do make Scirocco's. They okay. just stopped. I, I they just this stopped a, this year making Scirocco's. Look it up. I think this was a Passat wagon, if I remember Passat. correctly. Uh -huh. That freaking thing got like incredible gas uh, fuel mileage. I mean, it wasn't gas, but... We're driving and driving and driving. I keep looking at the fuel gauge and it's not moving. I'm thinking something wrong. <laughs> well, I think it probably got 45 miles per well, gallon. Good. Yeah. And Did you... go ahead. So I'm I'm all for the diesel, man. I just yeah, there, you know. There's a famous video where um, Jeremy Clarkson. I think it's on the like the old Top Gear with Jeremy yeah. Clarkson when he was on it. He drove back from the northern part of England. All the way down to London, one yeah. tank of gas. No, I don't think. Wait, I don't think he went all the way. Oh, to you London. don't even use a tank. You don't even. Yeah. That's not that far. Um, I mean, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you think England? You oh yeah, drive from one to the other. Hell, that's <laughs> like driving in Florida. Florida. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, it's pretty long driving in Florida, dude. Yeah, I mean, you could be driving in Florida for like fifteen hours well, to yeah, get from yeah. one part of Florida to the next. Well, so if you go to New Orleans, hold on a second. <laughs> Eight hours to get out of Florida when you go to New Orleans, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. Florida, you can literally hit the border of Florida and from like Georgia, Florida border, and by the time you get down to the Keys, it's probably like fifteen hours. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, but but I sh we shouldn't complain though. Texas is ginormous, so yeah. Have you ever, ginormous. you know, but yeah. You know what else is ginormous, Walter? Oh, I'm not I even gonna you. go there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what other new stuff is there here? Oh, that, uh, they have a uh, inland is coming out with a new um, M1 carbine pistol. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I'm sorry, a 30 carbine pistol. With a brace. Where the heck are you brace. seeing this? I it's on the Farms blog. Yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, 30 carbine kind of died out a while ago, but it's a neat cartridge. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like a Springfield Armory. It's got that same look as the M1A. The uh, yeah, short. but this is uh, this is going to be really tiny, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, the well, dirty carbine I think is a really neat little round too. It's a zippy little yeah, thing. Yeah. As a, as a young child, one of my the gun I always it learned like to have. Ruger, it looks like a 1022 in a in a, some kind of kit to me. But okay, go ahead. Yeah, you know, the old jungle carbine they called it at West with the M1 mm -hmm. carbine with a banana clip was a pistol. The enforcer pistol, that's what I called it. Yeah. Enforcer? Okay. Yeah. I always jones for those things when I was a young young man. I was like, oh, those are cool, you know? But, <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm trying to see what else is on here, if there's anything cool. And people are coming <laughs> out. Uh, the big silencer manufacturers are really jumping on the uh, AK, man AK silencer line. They should. Jim Tech just came out with another one, it looks like, for. Uh, yeah, for uh, Arsenal. Yeah, for Arsenal. Actually, um, Gem, Gem tech has got some money of mine sitting. I got to call him up and go get one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a short story. But, you know, you order a suppressor, and they what happens? Gem tech will call you when it's ready to ship to get the money. Like called, no suppressor. Sent yeah. the money, no suppressor, no suppressor. Oh, well, we're, we get it. We, we're not making those right now. It might be a little bit before we make another run of those. And I'm like, yeah, they 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 do their stuff in runs because I I try to get something from them. Yeah, so I got twelve hundred bucks on my money set at Gemtech. So I think uh, mm -hmm. I have a feeling though they might be exclusive to Arsenal. I don't know. If Spokane Gemtech police will. adopt rifle suppressors to curb hearing damage. Oh, who would have guessed shooting a gun without ear pro is going to damage your hearing? <laughs> Fucking, like, where are these people coming from? <laughs> too late. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations! You just figured this out. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, they're tired of what it is. Is they're tired of paying for, for uh, for the rest of the officer's life after they retire for hearing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, my dad retired yeah. from fire department. Has uh, they do his hearing aids once a year? Um, yeah, gets his hearing so, checked and he has it covered, and it's it is not cheap. Yeah, yeah. Um, TKO zero five nine three says sadly a lot of layoffs recently yeah that's you know going on in the industry. the industry is slowing down but i hate to say it it's a good thing because we're not constantly under assault from politics currently yeah well uh, yeah 
Well, like I said before, a lot of these people that are in the gun business now were not have never been in the gun business when it's normal. That's Bill Ruger was was uh, yeah. That's the thing is they 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 got into the gun business when it was because of the yeah when it was high high yeah. money and now it's like right. so now it's just like normal and people are like well, yeah well, go business. what am I what am I supposed to do I can't I can't make a million dollars on AR. I was gonna say yeah I'm a mil million and a half in debt on CNC machines but right. I'm never gonna make that make that back. I got a hundred thousand yeah. dollar a month payment on my machines and yeah. you know. So um, this is, I don't know if this is the last piece of news, but if you guys have some other stuff, we can go over this. This, we haven't covered this kind of news in a while. Uh -huh. And I think this is very important. This is a PSA for everyone out there. Venereal this disease. is in the news. I'm going to read this for you. <laughs> Oral sex plus smoking, a cancer danger for men. Okay, there you go. And this is, uh, look oh, it up. So you're getting a blowy from somebody who health, smokes cigarettes health. is not good for you? No. <laughs> Oral you sex, or, no, you know the the... the the other, you know, reciprocating to the to the oh, lady. So, oh, kind of oh, oh, oh. so you can give her about. cancer by by. No, you get throat cancer. Don't you know what happened to Michael Douglas? You never you heard of that? cancer from, that from licking the the punani. Yes, that shit is real. No, <laughs> that is shit it really? real, my friend. Yes. I had no idea. And this is actual news. It says smoking and oral sex may be a deadly combo that raises a man's risk for head and neck cancer, a <laughs> new not, study suggests. It's not the tobacco or, you know. <laughs> the key factor is, is this secondhand is, smoke? What is it? Is it secondhand smoke? What, what the hell's going on? She's puffing away. And, yeah. The key Hold factor. on, baby. Well, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> the key factor is the transmission of oral strains of the cancer-linked human papilloma, papilloma virus, oh, HPV, HPV, which can be passed through oral oh, sex. Oh, In fact, know, men who smoke and have five or more partners with whom they've had oral sex in this study that typically uh, met cunnilingus have the <laughs> highest risk of developing a type of head and neck cancer known as orofernaglial cancer, something like that, <laughs> orofernaglial. <laughs> Oh God! Did you link the story? Yo, cancer. Yeah, do you want the link? Yeah, link it. Link it in our chat. Oh, are you? Are you passing the? Are you, this I'm is gonna, gonna be. Try to, try to pronounce that for. You. This is gonna be. This is gonna be for a lot of dudes. <laughs> a lot of dudes out there are gonna be like, you see, this is why. Can we talk about the M1 carbine again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to get off this subject? Oh, no, well, I, right, let's see. Uh, no, you know, uh -huh. wait a minute. The whole you've seen all the the advertisements on TV for all these different things that are gonna kill you. You know, and one of those is that Papilona virus or whatever they mean. You know, like the, get right. your shots. You know, get your shots because you're gonna die. And yeah, but this hap like, this happened to Michael Douglas. You know this, right? Oropharyngeal cancer. Oropharyngeal. Oh, there's no L. There's no L. Oropharyngeal. Oh, oropharyngeal. That's lubricious. It's gotta be lubricious. Yeah, you gotta be lubricious. careful. Lubricious. Yeah, oropharyngeal. We gotta we gotta make that. You gotta make that into a nickname. Some kind of. Yeah, Cunning orifice. Uh, cunnilingus cancer. Chris Boone. Chris. Uh, Chris. Let's uh, call it cunny cancer. <laughs> cunny cancer. <laughs> Chris Bullis Boone. This Boone Tang. Boone Tang. Boone Tang. Yeah, cancer of the Boone Tang. Actually, <laughs> Ted Nugent. That, that's a, like cat scratch fever. That's what I'm saying. God. Yeah. Wait, wait. Who yes, who got throat cancer from from Michael the, Douglas? <laughs> Michael Douglas cancer. I'm Googling this right now. Yeah. You, oh, you think I'm lying? Do you think you don't ever I'm believe saying. me? You always think I'm lying to you. <laughs> look it up. Go ahead. Look it up. Look it up. You will see. Michael Douglas. Michael got Douglas that. vagina cancer. <laughs> he is the he is the poster boy for well, the orophilic deal. For the I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what about that, but uh, you know his uh, if he was uh, that was a cancer Zeta Jones. Oh, Jill. Yeah, Orofaling Jill. <laughs> Lola was trying to tell you that. Yeah, Lola was trying to get me to, to say it properly. I don't care to say it properly. It's a violation. I never want to die of that. I don't want on my headstone, Hank Strange lays here dead of Orofaling Jill, you know, Punani cancer. <laughs> and Ken Helmers, I know, Cat Scatch Fever is real. So Yeah, Cat Scatch Fever. Is that, what is that? It's, it's uh. Oh God! I should know this. It's uh. Chris Bullis says, "Puff, puff, poon." 
That's a that's, that's how a you die. That sounds like a rapper. <laughs> yeah, somebody better trademark that shit right now. That's you know what, Babyface? We've just changed your nickname. <laughs> no, no more Babyface. Buff Buff Boo. Dang. Oh my God, that's okay. So there, we have educated you guys. You've made you aware of this. What? Yeah, and you had Senator, your PSA moment. Yeah. Ch Senator Public Charles team. Schumer advises Democrats to back off of gun control because they are. Well, one thing is Democrats are just—they're in the news right now. They are just losing shit. Left Did that right. just break? It was, uh, no, it was yesterday. It will not get them anywhere by being pro gun control. Yep, they're going to come well, up for election, thing. and if and if they're you know. A lot of these places where the Democrats, oh, really? Trump, Trump kicked their ass. So yeah, and you know, they're losing they, more. They had uh, no, the they lost nine hundred seats. The oh, Russia different. scandal coming out for well, did you? So did you Clinton guys? Camp, the Clinton Foundation getting money from the Russians so they could get twenty oh. percent share in the the yellow oh. cake uranium mining. Oh no, they don't do that. Exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then something about my son Will is you know he's been. You know, he reads all these different things. You know, the Clintons were big in that big Haiti thing. And there's a lot of child porn and child, you know. I, um, I'm still, ugh, I don't know. There's a lot of weird shit yeah, going on. I told on. you guys yeah. that already. I told you yeah. that. Um, yeah, the, the more you hear about Jim go, oh, fuck. These yep. guys are. These yep. guys are so, these guys are trafficking the people and stuff like that, and it's like who's that billionaire? There's one of these billion. Oh, Soros! Did you yeah, guys George see the? Soros? Did you guys see the news about Soros? Oh, God. What about him? Hold on, let me look this up before I say it. Right now, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Hopefully, he's dead. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Not yet. We're not that. Lucky. So here we go. So um, I'm gonna pull this up for you guys. Pull it out, man. Whip it out. So George Soros transfers billions to Open Society Foundation. Yep, I saw that. So he has given eighteen billion to his Open Society Foundation, one of the largest transfers of wealth ever made by a private donor to a single foundation. So if just you don't imagine he's paying off everybody to get his political way. You're wrong. Yeah, there's going to be billions coming at us, people. So that's one of the things that you you know that you got to consider out there of what we. Do you know how much he's already wasted? Billions. Though? He's he and Bloomberg have been throwing money at Democratic elections to try to get Democrats elected in non-democratic areas like uh, Georgia. They right. threw I don't know how many millions at that Georgia yeah. election, and <laughs> the guy lost. <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah, but he just he just um, he just uh, threw 18, 18 billion. You guarantee you, Antifa is paid by Soros. Oh yeah, and as yeah. are a lot of other groups. Soros, Palpatine. I yes, agree. he really is. Uh, yeah. what, what do you guys think of Executive Order one three two two three? Is that the one where they turn on the Jedi? Is that what, oh? <laughs> this one what? is. Uh, hold on, let me pull it up. It's um, the TLDR on it was. It allows the government to uh, 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 retire, quote, retired member of the regular, the EO allows the federal government to recall into service any retired member of the regular Army, regular Navy, regular Air Force, regular Marine Corps. That's all right. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's weird that they're doing that now. Some but Reddit's well, going on right now because they think we're going to war. <laughs> well, might be. Korea. That's what well, I'm hoping. Well, you never know. <laughs> well. <laughs> There's lots of, you know, like when you're out there thinking that certain things can't happen, anything can happen, my friends. Oh, yeah. It's anything better to be prepared than, than have well, to Well, it's like it. how there's people who actually think, I mean, to get back to the whole uh, gun control debate, there's people who think there's not going to be any laws. Well, there's like 20 laws that are Oh, that's now. the other thing. There are two in Florida that we need to oppose. 196 and SB 196, Florida. Hold on. Uh, got introduced within the last 90 days, 30, 60 to 90 days, and now they're getting pushed hard. One of them is to ban semi-autos that can accept magazines or something like that, and the other one is to ban uh, rate-regulating devices, or rate-increasing devices. Well, yeah. So that's a, that's a smoother trigger then. Exactly. It's anything. Yeah, but in all, there's like 20 something different. Every bills. state has their own, I'm sure. Yeah. N not just the states. I'm talking about in Congress. On, on federal level, yeah, there's more. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not time to stop calling your. Congress. Yeah. Keep calling the, Congress. 
Yeah, that's really the place where we need to be focusing a lot of our energies because there's a lot of bills out there. And if you think, if you're one of those people that thinks like, oh, nothing's going to happen, there's a ton of bills out there. Several of them are actually supported by Republicans. It's highly likely, I keep telling you guys, that something, they will push something through in the dead of the night mm -hmm. when no one's watching, no one's awake, they'll push something through. It winds up on, on uh, Trump's desk and, and then Trump decide. gets real tempted and enticed into, you know, into signing that thing. And so that's why you guys have to push back. In the description of this video, there is a link that you can um, get in touch with the White House and talk to the president and say, please, you know, mm -hmm. don't do this. You know, don't sign um, any new co gun control bills. You got we, we have to make sure we keep pushing back on this because this could happen. Like everyone who thinks that this could not happen. Oh, it totally still can. Easy. You're going to be in for a big shock because the likelihood of this has never been this high. So mm -hmm. I know that people aren't out there buying every single gun and it's not like back in 2013 and all that. But the likelihood right now is incredibly high. You know, um, there's a lot of shit out there, and Republicans are supporting it. That's the problem. That's oh, the problem. Right up the Republicans. Yeah. High capacity well, magazine right up the backside. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, I know. be aware of that, man. Just don't, don't, don't be out there thinking, oh, there's no way it can't happen. Don't be a putz like me. Right? It'll never happen. Uh, are you one of those dudes that no. thinks, it, thinks it'll never happen, Walter? Huh? Are, are, are either of you... I'm no, asking Walter if he I, thinks I, it'll never happen. I didn't say I don't oh, think no, it'll Walter. never happen, but... Um, yeah. Are either of you have any relation to Boy Scouts at all? Did you ever do any scouting stuff? Walter does. Has He has. used to be. What do you, what well, do you think about uh, the news that uh, girls are now allowed in Cub Scouts? If I was actually a Cub Scout, okay. I would love okay. that. Okay. And that's going to be Boy Scouts. That's 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 going to be Boy Scouts too. So here you go. Yeah, I think um, it's a terrible thing. Camping, 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 camping. <laughs> um, interesting. Um, I, my, it's it's more. It's less of a of a boys and girls getting up to nonsense, and more of a. Uh, I think I think boys need a place to be boys and be rowdy and get dirty and have fun. Mm -hmm. Like a kid, and, and, and then girls need their own separate place to and do that. I think girls have Girl Scouts for a reason, but well, yeah, it's I totally... all it's it's all about money. Yeah. Well, I could tell you guys that from a very young age, I was I was a lesbian. I knew <laughs> I knew I was a lesbian. I never had interest to do shit with the other boys. Cause that's I lesbonic. Was, You're lesbonic. Yeah. That's yeah. I'm lesbianic. Absolutely, hundred percent. And I always wanted to. I always, yeah, <laughs> I always wanted to hang out with the are girls. We, are right? we on that one too? Have we talked about that yet? What the the HIV story and coming out of California? Oh, well, so, uh, just bad Vanessa shit Kitty crazy. put something in there. Well, yeah, because it's crazy that it, in, that it's in, no longer a felony. No, it's not. California. I know. Crazy. I, I actually personally know somebody who was uh, infected without the person did it on purpose. Knew yeah. what they were doing. You know. And, yeah, I totally. Yeah, I'm not about that. It's crazy, man. Like, why is Harvey Weinstein not in prison? I mean, I, you know. Well, because he's in Europe, Holmes. Oh, okay. Did he That's run? More. Did he literally? He, he left the country he already? He was smart. <laughs> he got the hell out of Dodge. He got out. Oh, okay. like that, that I thought he was in Hollywood. Pants. He's not coming back. Oh, no, he's never coming back. If he's, he's, he's out, like he's the, never coming back. Who's a pedophile? Would you come back? France. Would you um, come that back? That filmmaker, there's a filmmaker. Yeah, yeah the uh, filmmaker. Um, 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 First of all, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel um, I don't feel super like bad for all these crazy ass Hollywood chicks that were a lot like, of them asked you know. not asked for what happened, but made a lot of money as a result of what happened. So, so here's here's something that I thought was interesting today that I stole from Ben Shapiro. I was listening to one of his talks. Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski is the one, yeah. But um, one of the things I was listening to today was the. You know, the left leaning and I'd say feminist agenda is women should have control of their own bodies and do what they want with them. And of course, I. I'm Everyone should have that. control of their own bodies and, and no one should and be forced to do we, anything. We today use sex as a nonchalant sort of thing. So if you wanted to use it as a way of getting to the top of an industry, who am I to tell you no? Like, that's, that is like. 
Just because you casting couched, that's not my problem. Yeah, I think if, if he forced people to have sex with if him. If he forced it, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a I mean, huge problem. Yeah, and if you touch what people you uninvitedly, anyway? like what was done to Terry Crews, I'm, I'm – Oh, like, yeah, totally you know, not all right. Yeah, that's bullshit, and it's not it's not right to do it to, you know. But if, you, you know, if you're like, mm, this is going to give me a career boost, I'm going to go along yeah. with it. Oh, well, I, I heard – He chose that. Right. Well, I heard the story about the young girl that's a gymnast, and uh, there's that doctor that was doing that yeah. to all these girls. That's that guy needs to be like. That's that's fucked up. That yeah, guy needs to be. That guy locked needs away to be, forever. Uh, no, not locked away forever. Fuck You're that. Gonna... That guy needs to cease to exist on the face of the planet. <laughs> um, but you know, grown ass women like Andrew jo Lena Jolie and all these like badass chicks or whatever. No, they, you know, unless they were forced into something against their will. If, yeah. If if you they were go, drunk, they go into that. They go into that situation knowing how he is. Exactly. And it's it's like not even a secret in Hollywood how the dude is. Yeah, right. Now but, does that make it does that make it all right? Not necessarily, but no. you know, hey, you go you go down with you go down with Harvey every once in a while, you get six or seven million dollars, twenty million dollars. Yeah, but that's on the person. You, if it's your body and you want to use it right. for a transaction, you want to use sex as a transaction to get to the top. Fine by, by the me. way, everyone tries to do that. that later. Everyone tries to do that, and not everyone, but lots of people in different industries. That's not just in sleep, Hollywood. Sleep right at the top. Yeah, yeah it's not there's lots of people who try to do that. If you're a yeah. grown up, if you're a grown up and you know better, act like you know better. Yeah. Don't person come asking for a barrel. To do something. Yeah, he wants favors for a barrel. Stay out of my shop. Right? You know what <laughs> well, I need a fifty cal, Walter. I'm uh, I'll be in Tampa tonight. Uh, yeah, ah, right no, no, don't do <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you'll lose, though, you, you'll lose your barrel <laughs> as a transaction, and yeah, just don't bitch about it later. You know what you did, right? And you made lots of money out of it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. If I had tits, maybe I would sleep my way to the but top. He did a little of both, I think. So yeah, yeah. yeah if he was, if he was like molesting people, then obviously that's that's wrong. Yeah. If you get somebody's will, then yeah, it's wrong. But the crazy thing about California is that California. It's will fun. actually allow people to to you know they don't want people to have guns, but you can use you can kill if somebody. If you have a with, disease, you can use that disease yeah. and kill other people. Yeah, you can with purposely it. infect somebody with HIV. It's you know? insane. And uh, that's the weird kind of thing going on in California right now. And I don't know why they're letting that happen because I think it's terrible if someone gets well, they, AIDS. They, you know, they don't want to stigmatize have that, somebody that has has HIV, which I understand mm -hmm. not not putting a stigma on a disease, but. If you're a piece of shit that's infecting people on purpose, fuck you. I'm they should sorry. be executed, actually. Fine. Yeah, that. That's a that's death a, penalty thing. You it, take them out. Weapons of mass destruction. That's a, that, that's chemical warfare to me. That's hang it. You hang them. <laughs> Done. Finished. Over. Yeah, it's just I as bad. No in, in some ways, know. it's in some ways it's uh, even more destructive because you're spreading a, it amongst the populace. Yeah, it's a and bullet person, that splits off and kills multiple. Exactly. The person doesn't know they have it for. I mean, uh, HIV can like dormant for thirty years. And you could be passing it along. You're the <laughs> you're the typhoid Mary yeah. of HIV. Med Devil just... says it's HIV with a bump stock. <laughs> that, that's so weird, man. Uh, Cal I'm not California a, is a weird ass place. If you can't tell, I'm not all right with it. <laughs> yeah, California is weird, man. Oh, hey, yeah. we're, we were talking about Yashankas earlier. Mm -hmm. What my son Will wanted to do is get a Yashanka and put... The Trump, the Trump rooster on the I like it. Yeah. Oh Lord! <laughs> so that's that's coming here pretty soon. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, Esteban Armofilizad says he's waiting for Escape from LA to become a reality. <laughs> it's it's yeah. gonna happen sooner or later. I feel sorry yeah. for all the normal people that live in California. Oh God! And there are normal people that live in California. Yeah. And it just well, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place, right? So that's yeah. the thing. I mean, it's like so beautiful, and that there's people who can't get out of there. But you know, yeah. I would get the hell out. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to get the hell out, man. You can't stay someplace because it's beautiful. Hey, can we talk about knives? Yes, go ahead. Talk Anybody else knife. have? Flip up your knife. Yeah. Gravity um, knife. You want to show up? Show up. You go, uh, no, you're gonna have to do that again because we didn't see it. Okay. Carefully. This is like a, a German paratrooper gravity knife. Oh, interesting. It's not auto. It just falls out or falls in. Interesting. They issue them to the paratroopers to cut their lines, do stuff like that. Um, it also has a very convenient, I guess, spike here for you know undoing lines and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, that's for undoing what kind of lines? Maybe untangling para lines. I don't know. Maybe using oh. different things. But oh. is that a is that a drop knife? Yeah, a gravity knife. Yes. Yeah. That's a gravity, some... old German gravity knife. 
Yeah, those were like what paratroopers cutting themselves out of other lines and stuff. Because you think about you're one handed, you know. Yeah. You can, yeah. Um, but this is a a later one. This is not World War Two, but there you, you can find ones out there that are World War Two vintage and all that. So. Now you just now you just need uh, this. Oh, look at you! You you you're so lucky. Oh, looky you know? here! Yeah. Any time. Can, can, oh, that looks good. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something, Walter? I think yeah. it's okay if you go ahead and get the cunnilingus cancer. <laughs> all <right>. Go ahead. <laughs> it's all right, man. You, you know, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy deserves it. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Here you go. <laughs> oh boy! Now you're gonna eat her. I mean, now you're gonna do it. <laughs> okay. All right. So you started. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna be able to unsee that. <laughs> <laughs> anything else in the gun gun news right now? I'm trying to think of anything else coming up. Yeah, I'm trying to flip through my thing. We talked about the M249. There you go. Um, oh, you know what I want to remind everyone out there? Um, don't forget that. Um, do <laughs> not forget. Joe no, Carpenter just bombed. Do not forget that Krebs Customs giveaway. Don't forget that. Oh yeah, yeah. Customs you get some raffle. Cool. That's still going on, guys. Don't forget about it. It's on Raffle Creator, the Krebs Custom Raffle. When okay. does that end? It ends December 1st. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Get on okay, it. Okay, so for 20 bucks, you can win. Uh, I've been meaning to, like, you guys have to remind me every night to do this, if you can, the folks in the chat. But you can win a KB-13 Mod 2 with an AK um, Chaotic Suppressor on it. And there's a max amount of people that can get into this, right? Yeah, I think they're just. I think it's like, is it five thousand tickets? I think, uh, I, think it, I think it was twenty five hundred. I think it was twenty five hundred. Yeah, so twenty five hundred tickets. It's like twenty bucks chance. each. <laughs> yeah, you can get if you spend a hundred bucks, you can get six tickets. Okay, and it's a pretty good chance right now. It looks like they've raised six thousand two hundred and forty dollars, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, all you have to do is go on Google and search Krebs Custom Raffle. And then you're going to see a link to the rafflecreator.com page that has that going on. I don't think I have it in the um, I don't have it in the description. I can do that. Actually, I'll put this in the chat for anyone who's watching that wants to uh, find that easily. And then I'll go in here and put it in. Uh, I'll put it in the description for you guys so that it's in here as well. Um, let's see. That was a really that's some really good prizes too, and for a good cause. Yeah, there's two there's two rifles in there that you can win. I'll tell you and that some right other, now. And some other goodies too. So yeah, there's two yeah, rifles. Like breaks and yeah, and it's going it's going to help out a guy that his family you know is going through like tragically having to deal with cancer right now. Um, so kind of lingus cancer. No, no, it's his wife. <laughs> oh, so, definitely. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, oh, hey, Krebs custom raffle, guys, go check that out. What's up? Did you see the uh, today Arms Unlimited. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've ever shopped with them before. They have Colt stripped uppers for thirty dollars shipped. Colt, Colt stripped uppers. Where, where, is that? Where, where, where is this deal? Put Arms, it, put a link. Arms Unlimited. I'll find it for you. Hopefully, it's still. Hopefully, it's still there. Um, yeah. Hey, we're the only. We thing have to. Do, you know what I propose? We need to we need to like make a Facebook page or something. It's out of stock. It's it was they were factory. Here I'll, I'll link it so you guys can see it. Factory, um, uh, what's it called? Hydro dipped. Fi factory hydro dipped with uh, camo colors. Hmm. But they were they were thirty bucks a piece. It was I almost bought one and then I was like I don't I don't need that. Why do I need that? Mm -hmm. I do have a lower though that needs to be built into something so. Yes, you do have a lower. I don't know if we got suggestions for that. Uh, somebody said a 50 Beowulf <laughs> suppressed. What is this link you sent me? Do you... That's the Arms Unlimited link, isn't it? Yeah, that's nope. the one in 4 stripped. Oh, really? Oh, oh, okay, hold on. I opened um, up. But... Arms Unlimited has some pretty good deals every now and then. Um, they, they've had some parts kits and stuff come in that were, I mean, they had uh, stripped Colt lowers for like 150 okay. bucks. Okay, I see the upper. Yeah, it's just stripped upper. Oh, stripped upper, okay. I could have got, instead of that Trigicon, I could have swapped for a uh, 458 SOCOM rifle. And I was like, they had a box of ammo and the oh. rifle, and I was like, you know what will happen? I'll shoot that box of ammo and I'll never shoot the gun You'll again. You'll never shoot it ever again. <laughs> like, I don't want it. Yep. I, don't, I, have no, I have no desire for the weird What Trigicon? 
Yeah, oh, do you have that oh, you haven't seen you show it? No, yeah, I, I don't think you've seen it. Okay, oh, let's take a look at that before we. I didn't. I don't have it here. It's at the shop. Oh, you don't. What is it? it it's a Trigicon made for the M two forty. Is that the so, one that auto adjusts? No. But it's it's big. Yeah. You know, and it's six power, and it's got a ginormous lens and Trigicon. Plus, it has adjustable um, for exterior light to come in. Um, I'll bring it. I'll bring it up to my dad. But it's yeah, it's nine. Yeah, that thing is expensive. Uh, I think we looked it up, and it was twenty five hundred something like that. Yeah, it's a big, massive. It's a big, massive. Um, Home of the Brave, cool. six by forty-eight. Wow. It's. I think it's called the M two forty G. That's what it goes on, right? And the optic. Right. Let, me Let me see. Yeah, six by forty-eight machine gun optic MGO. Oh, that thing's huge. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I saw it sitting on their table. Um, what, another vendor had it. At Knob Creek, yeah. Yeah. Another vendor had it that uh, makes AR-15s nationally. Mm -hmm. um, CMMG. Um, I like CMMG. Not C yeah, CMMG, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and they wanted an upper, one of the guys at the table, and, and he comes over, and I was like, well, how about that Trigicon scope? And he goes, yeah. How yeah. about an upper? I go, yeah. <laughs> and it's like done, boom, fail. Yeah. That fast, so it's cool. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of shit you don't. Yeah, it's not something you see very often. Yeah, you don't find it. And I, I I'm, I'm not like I'm going to pay twenty five hundred dollars for that. Uh, so. Yeah, I would never go out and buy that. Yeah. Like, go out of my way. Hmm. I'm happy. Any, any other good deals? I don't think I've seen anything else where I'm like, man, that's a that thirty bucks for a cold upper, a stripped upper is is seemed to me like I a bought, good deal. Well, the, the, with the code with that with that dipped finish on it, that's it was like an overrun probably or something. Yeah, I could have, but for me, I could have stripped it. And yeah, you could just strip it and paint it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I bought from CMMG a box of twenty five <laughs> stripped uppers for forty bucks a piece. Um, but they're black. They're not uh. I'm gonna build some. Wait for how much a piece? Forty. That's not bad. That's a good deal. No, not Especially bad. If CMMG is. I mean, again, it's made by the same like four companies. It's not yeah, like it's yeah, gonna yeah. be. And they weren't blems or anything like that. So. Um, uh, you know, I have a blim. My SBR has a blim Lewis machine and tool upper on it, and I don't know. Can't. I put so many scratches on it since then. I have no idea where the you blim. Can't was. see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I plan on building some uppers with the, um, those in the short barrels and. Yeah, and do some stuff like that. Probably build a kit where it's the whole gun minus the lower. Yeah, those are always really cool. Yeah, and then you know whoever they can, if you want to put a spikes tactical butterfly or or unicorn lower, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think he should do with his uh, unit with his uh, snowflake with lower? My unit? I, I mean, I can do whatever I want with my unit. Yeah, I think you should just need to make something ridiculous. So I don't know what I I don't know what I have an itching for. I already have a three hundred blackout upper. I have an SBR suppress. They have a nine millimeter. I have a nine mil. I have an SBR nine mil, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, um, um, I don't think it's seven, seven six two thirty nine. I don't have. Well, I have an AK. Mm. So an AK. I tell you what. What will happen? Like I did last year when the Black Friday came around. Mm -hmm. um, Midway had some sales on the. Um, what is that brand? Arm, uh, not Armalite, but um, what the hell? It's a. It's, um, I forget. It doesn't matter. It was a, one of the brands that they sell complete upper for like everything, bolt carrier, you know, everything, two forty nine. Yeah. See, that's one of those where it's like, why, why not? Then I have a. And I, I bought. I bought a seven six two one. It worked fine. <laughs> no yeah. problems. We shot it out of Hanks. Um, is that the full auto that we were blowing through? Uh, no, that was a short barrel one. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But it would have worked the same way. So um, Archangels is 50 Beowulf pistol. <laughs> yeah, I think you should do something big like that, like a big caliber. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, do a big caliber, put a bump fire stock on it. <laughs> 50 yeah. Beowulf Put a bump, bump fire. fire stock with a binary trigger. <laughs> Find the, the weirdest caliber we can stick in it. Yeah, yeah. just make like, it really like, weird. Um, Like, thir like $30 a magazine? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, um, I mean, I should complain, but you know, twenty cents around. Yeah. Okay. So, which will is that? Which will? 
My son? So, uh, I don't know. Oh, that oh, is Will. Oh, that it looks cool. like Will Killer. Yeah, he yeah. says AR-57. 57. I have... AR-57, uh, yeah. I have one. 57, yeah. yeah. Have you shot it yet? AR-AK, something 10 millimeter. Yeah, yes, I have shot it, um, not recently, um, but I need to pull it out and see if I can put it on the 16 lower. And, as I say, I've heard a lot of people complaining about it. Well, no, I've heard a couple people complaining about issues with it. What was that? What was that round? What was that round you were shooting with 904? Wasn't that uh, 22 TCM? That one's pretty cool, but that one again is like, it's uh, expensive. It's, yeah, it's so expensive. I'm never gonna shoot it. I picked up uh, the brass. If you, if you want to see liberal tears, you will shoot it. <laughs> I can't believe they left the brass on the ground. I picked it up. The TCM? Yeah, yeah Walter has oh, your brass. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I couldn't leave it. Yeah, yeah that's really neat ammo. Yeah. Is it what a nine mil neck down? Yeah. No, it's a two two three neck down, like cut in half and the neck down to a twenty. No, because that's just a five five six. Now what was it? I saw the. I saw the first time I saw it. I saw a big shooterist do it on his channel. Yeah, it might have been a five five six. I was like cut in half. I can't remember. It's a neat cartridge. Yeah. It has no recoil and it's got. Huge yeah. Cartridge. So I think I carry my revolver in single action. Says, would AR AK pistol with ten round magazine fall under assault rifle ban? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you know what I did see today this, that was really cool. This is what I might actually do: a four ten shotgun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. On, I think four ten yeah, is cool. a neat little. I might do that. Something weird like that. Yes. Um. Who? Yeah, but can you convert? Can you can you build that up, or do you have to get yeah. like a proprietary thing to do that? Well, you have to get some like a proprietary barrel and, and some other stuff. But but you can build that off the lower. Oh yeah, yeah. It goes to a regular AR-15, and I think it uses AR mags. Oh well, then there you go. That's why I was like, yeah, 410 is. I like oh, that. Yeah, that with a that with some kind of crazy trigger in it, you're good to go. Could, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, that's what you got to do. You got to bring the rain, bring the pain. Bring the pain. That gun is is that uh, lower is meant to bring pain to. Yeah, it's uh, got to make somebody angry. Yeah, liberal <laughs> tears, liberal tears. That's what we want to see. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna wrap it up. We've been doing this now yeah, for like two hours. Hey, <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah, I know you got to get on the road. So let's wrap it up. Uh, Babyface, anything you want the folks out there to know about? No, I've got some new subscribers, which is cool. If you guys want to go check me out, it's uh, I think with Babyface P on YouTube and. Real babyface P on Twitter, which I need to start tweeting more. I always forget. Yeah. Other than that, we gotta do some shooting this weekend. So hopefully we'll get some videos out of that. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down for it. Okay. Walter, what you got? Of course, here's another opportunity for you. Wait, did I show where is the video of Walter at this going? What? I did, well, post that up there. Let everybody see that. Yeah, let me show this video of Walter and his gun before we go. Uh, this I, afternoon I test fired this this afternoon in the shop in the bullet trap, and I posted it on um it's so cool. It's on, on Facebook. Instagram, and I posted on the Safety Hub. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna hold a phone camera, our phone video to it. Oh, yeah, that's how I'm gonna show. Uh, shorty, I just finished a uh, phone sample. Jesus. It's a by twenty-five. We're gonna test fire and see how it works. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> the flame coming out of that that hole is. Insane. That was awesome. I'm going to play that again. Is it is it straight blowback? <laughs> oh, so you don't even have to mess with ga gas port or anything. It's just <laughs> nice. Hey, you, gotta so you can make it as short as you want. You got to talk, otherwise people don't know. It's yes, you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. Um, I have a seventy-round drum. I got to dig up too here oh. before we go out there. So yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh, god. oh god. It goes about seven seconds, and it'll all be gone. You're gonna get that licking cancer much, if you're not how, careful. Oh god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> how much? How much? Uh, how much ammo are you bringing again? Oh gosh. How much ammo? Yeah, for that thing. Um, what? I got enough. You're all right. I hope so, cause I'm. I'm I hope you know, so. <laughs> I call dibs on half the ammo. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> but bring some forty-five dead. You want the video? You want more? You want more videos, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. just well, okay. So, babyface, bring some forty-five. <laughs> Not fifty rounds. <laughs> Not fifty rounds well, like last time. Nothing to shoot, dude. But bring some forty-five. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring a forty-five, a nineteen eleven. You can play with. 
Oh, what is that thing? So what what is that shoot? What is the uh, seven what is... seven six two by twenty five? Tokarev. Oh, seven six two. Yeah. Oh, seven six. Oh, Tokarev. Oh, well, Tokarev, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I this hope is... you have a lot. I hope you have. I have enough. enough. I have enough. It's a zippy little round. Oh yeah. Yeah. About nine hundred rounds a okay. minute. So. But listen, yeah. guys, we're we're gonna have fun. But I'm just telling you right now, if it doesn't make it into a YouTube video, it didn't happen. <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys ready? I got to get moving. Yeah. All <laughs> right, okay. So, Walter, any other things you want to plug before we go? Um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be posting more stuff on YouTube. I got to get off my butt and post it, right? Like I did today. Really simple. So, anyways, uh, we'll be doing some stuff Sunday that becomes cool stuff. So, All right, stay awesome. Tuned. There you go. I want to thank oh, everyone for like, 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 share, subscribe. Okay, Goddamn. awesome. Thank you. Okay, so I want to thank everyone that's hanging out with us in the chat. We actually had a pretty we had a pretty good uh, turnout tonight. Yeah, so thanks yeah, yeah. to everyone for that. Thanks for sharing. Um, I want to thank everyone that supports us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange and uh, Walter. You what's your Patreon again? Uh, slash. Patreon slash Safety Harbor Firearms. Okay, there you go. So. Thank you for the support. We really appreciate that for everyone who's uh, supporting us there. I want to thank the other people who sponsor us. That is Ram TLP, Safety Harbor Firearms, Andrew's Custom Leather, and of course, Big Daddy Guns. There Big you Daddy. go. Big Daddy Guns. Thanks a lot for the support. We appreciate that. And um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, we will see you guys. Am I going to be here Monday? Yes, I think so. I'll be here all next week. All right. So cool. I'll see you guys. Peace. Peace, we're out of here.